You can start this bitch off however you like, little boy. <laughs> are are we in Cleveland, Ohio right now? We're in fucking Cleveland, Ohio, and we're live from Cleveland. This is the Regurgabast. Shit's Do awesome. I have a working microphone right now? I see. I joined this call. If you recall in the previous episode, I, my microphone wasn't working and I didn't test it. It's been a while since we've recorded. We've kind of been in a little bit of a mini hiatus. All of our 10 viewers really missed us. Um, so Which 10 is I, being very generous. We have 10 views in the most recent video we put out today. That's why I we used do? that number. Yep. 10 views, 10 views, baby. We've gone from having videos that had like hundreds of, like a hundred, two hundred views to we fell ten. Off. We fell off. <laughs> yeah, the drop off's been a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I I did zero testing since the last time it was broken. Um, I told myself about fifteen minutes ago when you told me we were doing this little live weird format of the show this time. Is that a cat? What the heck? Yeah. I, I said I should probably <laughs> maybe figure out how to do fix this microphone thing. So I plugged it in, and guess what? It worked. Working great. Yep. Well, that's we're good. I, might, I was I was worried that you were gonna the, the <laughs> you'd have to with with my help because I'm very generous uh, get a microphone specifically for the podcast. Um, but I'm glad that it at least it works for now. Um, but yeah, you sound great, better than the last podcast, definitely. Thank you. I um, tried, dude. I have a, such a good schedule right now, and I'm, this is so totally tangential and unimportant. But I have. Uh, every Monday off for the rest of the year. What? So Mondays are weekends or I have three day weekends for the rest of the year. So what? I have, are you working four tens? No, I, I just, I don't use PTO. So I have, I'm using hundred, like a hundred hours of PTO before the end of the year. Um, that's not, I still have like a week left of PTO after that too, which is crazy. Oh, dude, I'm in the same boat. Cause like I got a new job. I got my new job in like March and yeah. I'm of the mindset to like never use PTO for multiple reasons, like previous experience working just, how like my parents kind of use their PTO and everything as well too. I, yeah. I only took like one, maybe two days off for emergencies throughout the year, but they also have a very generous PTO policy. And so now it's like at the end of the year and I have like 140 hours of PTO. Yeah, I have about, I have, I think by the end of the year, I, if I did not take every Friday or every Monday off, I would probably have about 140. Yeah. I get, I think yeah, I get like, I mean, Five, five every two weeks, like two, I guess two and a half a week. Yeah. A little I, more than that. I'm using 40 of it to, for my vacation in December. And then I had yeah. two days off for Thanksgiving, two days off for Christmas and two days off for new year. So it's like, I fucking <laughs> like, yeah. there's not a whole lot of time to really use it no, either. I like I don't I have know. a whole lot of, Hey, everyone subscribe to hear two guys talk about their PTO balances. That's a crazy first topic to bring up is our PTO balance. I know balances. we should do we should we should do like a whole podcast and how like how to exploit your company's <laughs> benefits packages. So I the 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 I took every Monday I'm off. I'm gonna de-zoom I, this. So every now Mondays are editing days for me. So sick. This sick. last Monday it was I, I edited an hour and a half of this two two hour fifteen minute podcast. I edited it all on Monday and. Today, um, or sorry, tomorrow, I'm going to be uh, probably editing this, even though I'm not going to do too much to this video. And up, it's going to uh, be a light one, guys. It's going to be a light one. And um, editing the Elden Ring video. Finally, I'm going to actually get to it. It was actually crazy. I got to tell you, I, I don't know where to start with the whole move thing because it's been a crazy month for me, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the biggest thing that's happened with you is you moved out of state to a different state and you were Nine editing and away. moving at the yeah. same time. I feel like you were on a whole journey, the whole side quest situation since we've last done brain, an episode. I, I thought I was going to be able to edit the podcast in a timely manner, like the, the episode that went up today in a timely manner. No, that did not happen. <laughs> not even remotely. Uh, it was a very, it was a big mess. It was a really, it was a hor it was horrible. Um, uh, I mean, it was, Horrible in the sense that I was always busy. I mean, it was it was it was great. It was fun. My, I, honestly, my room, I specifically got it ready for today. Um, you know, I was I did a lot of work. First thing this morning is I I got like, dude, I I'll get into it. I I don't know where to start with this. Um, so I guess I'll I'll just start. 
the yeah. Live from Cleveland, Ohio episode <laughs> with my move to Cleveland and the la- what I've been doing the last month because it's been I fucking I feel like we should nuts. save the <clears throat> title Live from Cleveland, Ohio to something for some for another thing. What do you mean? When we're actually live in Cleveland, Ohio. Probably. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> um, but... Okay, so let me let me let me let me start this from the All beginning. Right. So last episode was the day before I was saying bye to all like most of my friends, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, we went to a game store. I got oh actually a few a few of the games here. I found this and it was a bargain deal. It was a bargain deal, Zachary. Well, you went to the bargain bin. So I went to the retro uh, retro game store, which I, it was like it's my favorite thing to do. So I'm like one last time, you know, to go to the one in Connecticut while I'm still living here. And I went into the the shitty games box, shitty Game Boy games box that had like Mary Kate and Ashley one, two, and three, and like that's a Raven <laughs> games for the Game Boy. And at the bottom of the thing is a ja- a Japanese import of Pokemon Red. Huh. That's like a pretty like, rare find, I assume. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's you wouldn't think it would be in the bottom of a like a like a garbage uh, thing of game. <laughs> So I'm going to try and play this. I'm guessing the battery's in. That's why they put it in the box. But I'm going to try to play it. Uh, I also got uh, Chicken Shoot. Bro got an OG copy of Chicken Shoot? I got an OG copy of Chicken Shoot in that same uh, bin. An original um, pressing? We were dude, we were there for like... I have a buddy, Joe, who hasn't been on the podcast. I think he's in the server, though, in the Discord server. We love Joe, he, though, don't we? We love Joe. Joe's great. <laughs> he did that. Uh, he did, What did he do? I don't even know. Well, if you asked Joe, he'd say I did that. Joe Biden. Oh, uh, I don't pay attention to politics. So think, you can't. I be think doing we have that. two fans of us that are Joes. What, Out of the ten people, Rogan? two of them are Joes. Dude, did you see what Joe Rogan's favorite pizza was? White. No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Joe Rogan did a podcast with Elon Musk, and he said his favorite pizza was double anchovies, double pi- double pineapple. That's bros, horrible. Bros rocking with an anchovy pineapple pizza. Bro, he was trolling. He was dude. No, Joe Rogan always trolling. I believe him. No, no Joe Rogan always trolling. Never like good food. Like I, I had this discussion with one of my friends who brought up the the rocks cheat meals. Like he says, like if you ever look actually looked at the rocks cheat meals, they're not like normal meals. Like Yes, they're big and they're like pancakes and shit, but they're always like a protein pancake or like when he's eating burgers, it's always like a bison burger or some shit. Like when he does cheat meals, they're never like, oh, I'm going to indulge in something. It's like, yeah, he's calorie loading for sure. But like he's still not eating like normal food, like people that have spent their whole lives like being healthy, truly not people that are like have been fat and got their ass in shape, like people throughout their whole lives that have been healthy. They don't like no great food. They they know what they like, and that's you yeah. know something all of yeah. its own. But like, they don't eat like a fat man eats. So I believe Joe Rogan's favorite pizza is genuinely double pineapple, double anchovy. Nah, bro. I have you seen that? You seen that video of uh, of Joe Rogan going? Rrr, rrr, you know yeah, that video, my bro? favorite things on the internet. Yeah, that's his, it's actually also my, what what he's that's what he's doing in his head when he's telling saying that because he's lying out of his ass, bro. I'm telling you right now. I don't know. We should go confront Joe Rogan. I think we should and make him eat um, one. But um, yeah, Joe, uh, his new favorite oh, thing wait. is is Yu Gi Oh. I don't mean to keep derailing you, but awesome podcast concept. We order each other's pizza. We order each other pizza. To, for each other, Ooh. and oh, it, we do each live? other's pizza order. Yeah, live. Yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we did that with McDonald's, but we it was like not really. Yeah, I know, but like, there's literally no control over it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can, can place you. an order for you for whatever I want you to eat. I can get you. A, I can get you a poopy pizza, a poo poo pizza. You can't even say the words. <laughs> A you just get the police called to my house. You just <laughs> leave a bomb threat to my local Domino's. Um, uh, yeah. So, you, uh, Joe's new favorite thing is Yu-Gi-Oh, and we were sweet. sitting in this That's retro a sweet game thing store. to get into. It is. It is really cool. And we're, but we were sitting in this retro game store for hours, man, like fucking hours. Um, <clears throat> and 
we went through a, like all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that they literally all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that they had, right? And then we um we headed off uh and we we they, I think we hung out over I don't even remember. It was like a month ago at this point, but we like hung out and we we you know and said goodbye and whatever and I think we hung out overnight or whatever. And um <clears throat> and then I went what was it? I think then I went to Ohio for the first time. Bro went to Ohio for the Second first time? time, I guess. Well, I point is I said bye to everybody. I got my Pokemon. Cool. Um and then I cool. went to Ohio to move in. I think maybe yeah, it was a week later. It was a week later. That, that, that's so nothing important happened in that week. I mean, I I packed, I cried, and that was pretty much it. Um, but uh, we get to we get to Ohio. And we're here for a week. We have so much shit. This house is not small. I mean, it's not like enormous, but it's not small. We have so much shit in this house. So we are late because I had COVID. I got COVID, by the way. That week, I see I'm all out of fucking order. Oh, yeah, see, I had no clue that even <clears throat> happened. So, yeah, Sean got me sick. I got I had <clears throat> COVID, and I got COVID the Tuesday before we were going to leave. So, like, three days after the podcast. And so I got I had COVID that week, and it wasn't that bad, truthfully. It, I mean, I was just a lot of fatigue, ca- a little bit of coughing. You know, my throat was always hurting, shit like that. Um, it wasn't horrible. But what was really bad is I, I had to drive to Ohio with COVID. <laughs> Every and time I, you say Ohio, I want to like put a <clears throat> meme in. Like I know this I know, is a I no know. edit episode, I but know. I want to just like meme right now. Well, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I I completely know because I've made the made in Ohio joke about a billion <laughs> fucking times already. But um, so it's I, an outdated I, joke. It's, it was an outdated joke really when you is. said you were moving to Ohio. Yeah, now it really, it's it, months removed. I I can't believe I I I I, I can't even imagine what people that actually live here think of that meme. Probably hate it. Um, uh, but they don't. Do they have internet? Have they even heard of it? You know, I have a whole fucking thing about internet too that we could talk about. But um, but my, I I was so on, I got to COVID on Tuesday, and I was like, you know, I feel like shitty. And then I got I got better. I got better throughout the entire week. And then uh, I, I I can't really help moving stuff into the U-Haul. I'm kind of you know I'm I'm getting fatigued after moving one box. So then we go to um. So then we're actually driving to Ohio the next day. It's a nine hour drive. And it turned out to be like a 12 hour drive because at some point I was getting fever chills while driving, which is horrifying. So I stopped at a rest stop and I was, yeah, I remember when I had COVID. <clears throat> so um, I, I, I'm sorry for another like little tangent here, but like I got COVID before there was ever a vaccine for it. And um, you know, the, my symptoms went like this. I felt like there was something wrong with my body. I couldn't put my finger on it. I didn't quite feel sick. I just felt like kind of off in my head a little bit. Mm. Um, And then the next day I kind of felt like a little bit lightheaded and I was like, okay, I should probably get myself checked and tested for COVID. Like I just had a gut feeling that like maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe COVID. Because at the time it was like an unknown. It was like just blowing up in my state yeah, and yeah. just coming out and everything. First patch. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, pre, yeah. Uh, immune system Data, glitch we're, still working. <laughs> twenty twenty. Yeah. One point um, So you know, I booked a test, and I it had to like go all the way across Phoenix to like a women's health clinic to get tested. I had to like register for a women's health clinic and just hope that they would take me, and they they did. But I woke up that morning. Did they know you weren't a woman? I mean, I put my name. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a gender neutral name. So I was just like, mm. but yeah, it was a drive. It was a drive through type situation. So they just, I don't know if they were like, fuck it. We're balling. Or if you know, like they, it was supposed to be for men too. I don't know. Yeah. Um, either way, I woke up that morning, like early to drive to the clinic. And I stood up in like just this weird pain just shot up through like my legs to my back. Like it was this weird, like, like ache pain that just shot up through my legs and back. Mm -hmm. And I felt cold and I had these like shakes and I was like, yeah, (laughs) like I didn't know what COVID felt like at the time, but I remember being like, if, if this isn't COVID, I deserve to be hospitalized, whatever this is. Yeah. So I I, I feel you. Yeah. The actually, I remember the first night when I was, um, 
what going into Tuesday overnight, I had chills, but I was like, oh, maybe it was just cold. So I went, I literally went out to the thermostat and turned up the heat thinking I was just cold. And I was like, I can't be sick. I'm going to, I'm leaving in five days. I can't be sick. I was obviously sick. Um, did, did Ohio have any COVID cases? Were you the first person to bring COVID to Ohio? I think I brought COVID to Ohio. Yeah. Okay. I heard a, a few people died of it, uh, on my street. Funny enough. Um, but <laughs> That's actually how you ended up with his house. <laughs> yeah. Previous um, tenants were fucking died of COVID. Oh, let me tell you, dude. Oh my God. You say previous tenants, everything, dude, you're, you're, you're my brain is blowing up, Zach, blowing up. It's blowing up, Zach. I wish you could blow something in your brain. Dude. A okay. bullet. It's yeah, a well, brain into my bullet. Wait. Guy, <laughs> Kurt Cobain did that. <laughs> To I ask Ben to give me head all the time, but I'm a shotgun. <laughs> that joke. <laughs> that and we're live. Awful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so uh, I get I get the chills while driving, and I I like I feel like a little bit cold. And Alexis, is how long of a drive I, is this, by the way? Nine hours. It's supposed to be nine okay. hours. It turned into twelve <laughs> hours because of this. But I was I was driving. And I felt a little bit cold, and I was like, I'm getting kind of tired. You know, I might as well just. Stop at a rest stop. I have COVID. You know, I'm like, I, I have to, you know, I can't be like, all right, I'm just going to muscle through it because my friends are going to, you know, my, my buddy who's driving the U-Haul is going to be there before me. I was like, I have COVID. Everybody knows I have COVID. I'm going to relax at the rest stop for a little bit. Rest stop, the rest stop. I'm, I'm laying there and I, I start going, you know, you get the little like baby shakes. And then, and then Alexis notices this and she turns on the heat. She put, 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 pumps up the heat, puts a blanket on me. And, um, and at some point, I'm just just vibrating in the car, and it was like I need those. That's good. I mean, she, she I, was I, sure it wasn't the autism. She, I wasn't having an autism attack <laughs> at that moment. At least I wasn't having an autism attack. Okay, but I you was weren't just fucking, stimming. I, I was stimming, bro. I was no, I was I was <laughs> COVID vibrating. Had, COVID car. had it, and COVID was stimming inside of of me. Are you good, bro? I, I drank my first soda in like a week right now, and I'm like burping. I'm not a fucking Coke Zero. Yeah. I beat with Sandy Coke Zero, it. bro. Alexis loves Coke Zero. I fucking yeah. hate Coke My family Coke Zero. likes Coke Zero. Why? I Coke Zero's it. fine. It tastes just like it, Diet Coke, but... I don't like Diet it's Coke. It's not. Well, Diet Coke's what I grew up drinking. I did not grow up drinking normal Coke. My parents only drank Diet Coke when I was a kid, so... It's the flavor my, I'm used my to. My parents don't drink soda, and they didn't. And we drank too much soda, so they stopped buying it. <laughs> it's the um, opposite for me. My parents drink a ton of soda, and I was like, mm, I don't know about that. But here I am with my, one. My my parents drink the <laughs> the sodas with alcohol in them. That's more like that tastes like piss. Yeah, a lot of I've beer. been getting into energy drinks recently, and that's not a good thing. Mm, but yeah, I dude, we're getting such a tangent here. But I when I was working at one of my jobs, th- there was a Burger King a fish place and then a convenience store right next to the job. I yeah. never went to the fish place. It just smelled bad. <laughs> no, it probably smelled um, like fish. It actually apparently has really, really good food. I just never cared to but hey, get that. Hey, the on more your break. fish store stank, the more you be going to eat there. Yes, yeah, you absolutely do. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. I was, I would <laughs> dive into that pussy, um, but I would buy, I would get a Whopper or something from, from Burger King. And then I would walk over <laughs> to, uh, smell the free smells at the fish store. I would, yeah, I would smell the free smells at the fish store, and then Long I get a twenty. For your girlfriend, yeah. I, get, I, get a, I get a twenty ounce Red Bull every day, and that was not a good thing. I, I mean, I don't drink co- again. I don't drink coffee now. I, you know, whatever. But well, I drink, um, I drink coffee every morning. But we've been stocking at work our little mini fridge full of sugar free Red Bulls, and yeah. uh, I have one like a day. <laughs> like I don't know what yeah. to say. I like them. Oh, yeah. And then there's this coffee shop on the West Coast called Dutch Bros. I've had it on the show yep. here before. Yep. They have these little Rebel. They're called Rebels. I think it's kind of like the trick people on the thinking Red Bull, but they're like their own homemade energy drink. Oh, so it's not okay. some bullshit where it's like an Italian soda or like like a carbonated drink that has powdered caffeine in it. Like this shit tastes like a fucking energy drink. All yeah. right. Um, I never had one before. Cause when I go there, I always just drink coffee. Do you ever have that experience where like, you know, a place is good, but because he, the first thing you got there was so good, you don't want to get anything else yep. at like a restaurant. Exactly like, so every mean. time you go to the restaurant, you keep getting the same thing. I that was exactly kind of the mean. same deal. 
until recently, so, uh, my sister brought home a, a Rebel from Dutch Bros. And I was like, oh, let me try that. I've never had it before. I was like, this is like after I started drinking the Red Bulls at work, too. This is like two weeks into that whole phase. I was like, oh, shit. This is like a gourmet version of those fuckers. So oh, I've that's been. Bad. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's I've unfortunate. Been, yeah, so I've been um, not like every day, every day, but like a few times a week drinking some mm. kind of energy drink. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I do. I like energy drinks too much, but I, I can't drink them. I they mean, make my you girth- piss kidney stones sometimes there you go my gerd doesn't agree with it for starters and second of all i'm at this point i don't drink caffeine and you know <laughs> did you see the not. clip i posted in general earlier Gerd. in the week yeah what did he yeah. say He's, i don't know i just came across a clip Gerd? from archer yeah, yeah. And he just was like what do you have gerd and i was like that's hilarious so i was that's like me. that's how that's come me. i've never seen that before i'm concerned uh, about my gastrointestinal issues because i get an acid reflux a lot at night still and you I'm should, like, uh, regardless of what it is, if it's GERD or not, or just acid reflux, you should absolutely <laughs> invest in Pepsid. It's thirty dollars. I know it's expensive. It's thirty dollars for fifty tablets. I have one a night, and I don't, I don't, I don't get attacked by my stomach. It's actually great. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm trying to get myself a little bit. I'm, I'm being a healthier boy this month. I know, fucking. We we'll get into it, but um. I'm just hoping that like if I cut down on some of the foods that I've been eating regularly and actually exercise, it tones it down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then yeah, I'll invest in Pepsi for sure. Um, so, okay. Yeah. I get the chills. I get, I get there at my, my friends got there. My friend, my buddy, Eric and my buddy, Joey got there at like five 30 and I had to be like, bro, I'm Shout sorry. Out to I, Eric. Dude, genuinely shout out to Eric. Because I was like, oh, we're going to be there at like 8.30, like three hours later. So we get there and, and Joey comes out and he's like, hey, you know, we couldn't get anything out of the, the, the van with just two people. And I was like, oh, that's fine. And then I look in the van. Everything's gone. Everything is out of the, the truck. And it is a full, it is a 20 foot, tr- it is a big ass U-Haul. And they got everything out of it. Put everything in the house. We, we, we could barely walk through the house. There was so much shit. Luckily now we have a lot of it, you know, um, you know, put, put away. I did a lot of work on that today, specifically in my room and stuff like that. I mean, there's still stuff all over the floor, but yeah. Um, well, we do a super nice house. So excited and it, uh, to, to continue getting, uh, going in with it. And I, I really, I like a lot. I really, really like the house. Good. I'm happy for you. So, How's Cleveland. Are you, are you exuding like Cleveland? I know previously I said that you kind of fit into Cleveland how much of a Cleveland man do you think you are after being here? You look good, by the way. You look like I don't know something about you. Wait, you look I, wait, you keep, right now. You get you're, you're getting on getting ahead of me, bro. You're getting ahead of me. You're getting ahead of me. All right, listen, listen, listen. Believe okay. land, by the way. You got to get used to it. Believe, believe land. Yeah, yeah. Believe land. So the first week, we all we really do is move, kind of move shit around, kind of get like room set up. Like Alexis's office was the most important to get set up because. Oh. Her cats are coming. They're going to stay or in there. She's a queen. Majority and because oh. she's a queen in Bay. Um, and uh, so we got her room set up. Like my room, my office was like kind of, there were th- until this morning, there were th- two uh, right on this wall. Two. Um, Pardon, did you just have a Coke Zero? No Coke Zero. No, sir. No Coke Zero for me. Uh, we had two mattresses and one bed frame just leaning on the wall for the last month um over and then there was like all this shit over here there's a big there was a big pile of shit right here I, my room was a mess um that i was just procrastinating actually getting done um the downstairs was a mess uh for so we were just trying to like kind of get shit together for the first week we're getting ready for the cats uh so on the so we get to, to, Ohio, to Ohio to move stuff in, and then a week later we leave to go back to New Jersey because Alexis has appointments and we got to pick up the cats. So she does her. So her first appointment is man, now I'm getting fucked up. I was gonna say, bro, froze. No, I'm getting fucked in my fucked up in my own head. She had her. Wait, did she get her tonsils? Now I'm getting all fucked up. No, oh, she had, she had a follow-up appointment for her tonsils. Okay. Yeah, the tonsils thing already happened. I was, I was, now I'm getting all fucked up. 
So we, she had a follow-up appointment for her tonsils. High five. Good. She's good to go. And then we had a... Um, it was actually weird because when I was uh, leaving the, the, the ears, nose, and throat doctor, I heard them high-fiving a lot in the, in the office. They were a lot of that. It was really weird. Um, and then... <laughs> And then I only was, in Ohio. Uh, only in Ohio. And then we were going to she had a, she had like a uh the skin dermatologist appointment or whatever. Um but we I, we were in New Jersey for that for uh, a week and we brought home the cats, which was like we gave them trazodone, which is just a sedative. I think one cat got two because he was cra- the one you just saw cracked the fuck out. I've never seen a cat like this. His eyes were like I can't even describe it. Like open all the way, but the, he was always like looking from the bottom of his eye. Like his, his people were always like at the bottom. There was a little was cryptid running strange. around your house for a bit. And the other cat didn't even fall asleep during the car ride. So I'm like, maybe one cat must have eaten both trazodones. Like I, there's no way that could have happened, but it seems like that happened. Um, but we brought both cats here. Uh, they were a little bit iffy. Figaro, the tuxedo cat that you saw, is doing much better now. Um, he's wa- running around being a fucking bother. My arms are all cut up. I mean, nice. you can't really see it in this you're way, not a true it, cat dad if you're not yeah. if your arms aren't cut up. Um, Juliet's still a little bit because she's a senior, so she's been in the same house forever. So she's a little bit, you know, it's taking her a little bit Shaking longer up. now. She has a fucking UTI, so it's like shoot me. Um, who fucked this cat? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> and oh. Here's the thing you said. You said you look good, so I I was like Alexis. I'm I'm you know I'm pulling my hair out like that's all that's you know that's from Trick or Media. I was like oh, I, I'm pulling my yeah, I'm pulling my own hair. Out. Can you buzz my my hair? And she's like we don't have a razor. I'm like oh fuck. <laughs> so yeah, we go buy a razor. Um, and then I'm like okay, I just buzz my hair. And she's like I'm gonna give you the mullet you were you've, you've been talking about. And I said, I mean you can my hair. I mean I, I'm still done with this. And she's like no no I'll make it work. How do I look? That's not a mullet. How do I look? I would not long say you have a mullet. It's long in the back, short on the sides. I think like you look top. good. I wouldn't call it a mullet, though. I mean, I don't know what I would call that. It's. I mean, it's gonna. It's at the point. The, the, the dream is for it to be a mullet, but at this point, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's quite the dream you have there. Yeah, it's quite the dream. I'm growing um, my hair out too. I'm gonna get a cut before I take my DC trip, but you want to on right now. Cut it on the sides, keep long on the back, keep the medium length on the top. I don't have I wish I had the um the thickness. I mean I have thick hair, but your hair like is curly. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it fits that style v- really well. If I yeah. shaved my sides, I would look like Skrillex. I would yeah. look like a yeah. fat middle-aged Skrillex <laughs> if I cut my right, hair. Right now you just look like a middle a middle-aged uh, <laughs> You ever see those pictures of Marilyn Manson when he was fat? Um hello, wait, hold on. Pause. We have in we have someone in our in our chat in Twitch on Twitch. Hello, sorry for bothering this you. I want to viewer. offer a promotion for your channel, views, followers, views, chatbots, etc. The Bro, price is lower than any. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I actually did. What's going on? Oh, Marilyn Manson was fat one time. And if you looked up those pictures, that that would be what it would look like if I shaved the side of my head. I wish I could overlay a picture right now, but I'm not doing that. You're, he's not going to do that. This is a no edit episode. Bro, no, so we're going to hit 2024 pretty hard, huh? Are we on, on the same page with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> because oh, yeah. I've been off, I've been off my shit, too. I've been making promises I can't keep. I haven't made a fucking short in like a month and a half. Maybe yeah, it's been I'm, that long. I mean, uh, I guarantee in. you there will be them before the end of 2024. Yeah. But like I'm com- I'm committing. Oh, what was that? What was that shit? Oh, yeah. What? What did I do? You don't did believe I, in I... me. You live in Believeland and you don't believe in your best friend. I do believe in my best friend. I do believe in my best friend, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> are you coming out? Are you coming out in January? Oh, I was going to ask about that next. That was going to be like my follow up to this conversation. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. But like, <clears throat> I am excited to like dedicate like a day or two out of my week to like I'm going to go home and I'm going to edit some shit for this show and like work yeah. through some yeah. shit with you. Like I'm excited to like be back on the wagon a little bit. I don't know if I'll go as hard as I was before, but I'm excited to like, 
you know, factor this, like be productive with you, like at the start of next year, Mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when am I, um, couch crashing on your new place in Cleveland? Whenever you want, brother. (laughs) Whenever I want. You should be getting in January. I'm down for maybe end of January. Maybe end of January. Doesn't matter to me. We Let's look at the calendar film, right buddy. now. What about <laughs> flying out as early as I can Saturday, January 27th? You're going to be here for my birthday. Shit, all of Sunday, and then I take off that Monday, and that's when I fly out. Let's do it. You sure? Let's do it. Okay. My birthday. I, don't, I don't have like, um, oh, that is your birthday? The Sunday is my birthday, yeah. Is that impeding on any birthday plans? No. That's the best <laughs> birthday plan I could ask for by my little Zachy Tune. To do content on your birthday? Hell yeah. Absolutely. I can't tell and if I, you're being sarcastic and, or no, not. And I get birthday sex, too, so it's going to be great. <laughs> Sleep in my bed. <laughs> Sleep in my bed. Um, um, what do you want for your birthday? A camera. So we can film videos. <laughs> for the... <laughs> The issue is I have to like plan with you on that first before your birthday. Yeah. I I already, I already, my, 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 the, the only <coughs> thing that I'm looking forward to purchasing right now is a, besides house stuff, is a camera. so that's going to be, it's going to be something where I'm definitely I mean, going honestly, to have before then. The, these Elgato face cam pros are like good enough to where I could just bring this and we could have two of these. It is. I was thinking the same thing. That would be really goofy, but I mean, it is possible. <laughs> I have I have plans and I'll and I'll and I'll get I, I've thought through plans and I'll, I'll give you those obviously off air or whatever I don't want to spoil anything but um, yeah it's gonna be good um, let's go to Southwest and see how much a flight is for Cleveland on I mean, those it's like dates one thirty bro it's like nothing uh, it was pretty goddamn cheap when I looked it up before but yeah. then I think I looked it up again and the prices went up but let me check it's it's pretty like. I, Every person that's wanted to travel to or, or you know whatever, the flights have been super cheap, like a hundred dollars, hundred thirty dollars, maybe most two hundred. Yeah, but I gotta go trip. round way. Yeah. yeah, I go to Expedia. <laughs> okay, these I, flights I don't take off late enough, so I gotta fly out on Saturday. Whatever, it's probably gonna jack my rates up. Uh, okay, okay, not bad. You can buy the Return tickets whenever, flight. by the way. I, you can literally, you don't even have I know, to ask. I'm just checking. Like, I'm just, I'll be here. <laughs> bro, I'm just checking for my freaking friend, okay? Right. It would cost me $265 round trip. That's not bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> just um, see me do a cute little blink there. Yeah, you did. Really, yeah, <laughs> you heard quick. that it was, yeah. <laughs> um, I said, ooh, ooh. But we'd have to load load up on content. Load up on content for yeah. at least one of those days. If you yeah. want a day to just hang out, we can do that too. But I'm saying pick a day to just like film a bunch yeah, of shit. I, I mean, you know? again, I, I I have so many ideas that I want to throw at you before the the time that, that time comes. Yeah. But um, yeah, dude, we're in fucking Cleveland, Ohio, and I gotta say to you, how is Cleveland? I, I so okay. got a theory about their internet. Oh, uh, so, uh, fuck, so. <laughs> When I was living in my house, I was in in De Connecticut. I was always doing something for somebody. I was I'm a middle child. I'm always being asked to do something by my brother, by my sister, Salt by my mom, earth. by my dad. Salt of the earth. And I and this I, is the second I, episode in a row where I've described you as the salt of the earth. Salt of the earth. That's all I am, bro. I'm I'm number one. Um. So, <laughs> I just realized that the. The person that put the spam in the Twitch chat, his name is Distinct Lit Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's like very accurate too. We got, we both got lit hogs, especially when at the end of January it's going to be going to have very, really lit hogs. Yeah, when I catch a UTI of my own, <laughs> <laughs> and I get a, right. and then I get a lit hog. <laughs> um. So, what was I saying? Oh. I, yeah, I was the middle child, you know, obviously middle child, people pleaser. It's the whole thing. And that's why I can't say no to anybody. I love being here and doing this. I have so, I don't feel, I'm not worried about being loud because Alexis doesn't give a shit. 
I'm not worried about the lights being on. I'm not worried about anything. I don't give a fuck, dude. And I was streaming Bro, on freedom. Thursday. Bro, moved out. I know. I was streaming on th- Thursday this week and last week. I, st- I stream every Thursday. Plug or whatever. <laughs> I, stream, Plug. I stream every Thursday with Sean right as of right now. And it the streams go can go so much longer now that I'm not worried about someone walking in my room and asking me to do something and like you know being it's like okay mommy you know I'm good I don't have to I don't have to do it fuck dude it's so great all right internet internet can you say okay mommy just one more time before you okay, move mommy. on um so, all right that's all I needed um I love we, my friends <laughs> there was a lot of a lot of I'm not even done with all like the setup for. This I, is just a story even, time episode. This is just a catch up. It's just two friends yeah, it, just it catching really up. Is, it really just is just a catch up. So Ohio, I'm not even a, a technically in Ohio. I'm not like I don't have an ID or my car is not registered in Ohio yet. I still have to get that done. I forgot all of my social security information and birth certificate stuff in Connecticut, <laughs> which is so great. And so now my parents have to come for Thanksgiving and give it to me, hand it to me. Uh, oh, okay, they're not so going to just mail it to you? I would not want them to. I, I I don't trust. I do have zero so, trust in USPS. Do you have a passport? No. So I, I know you have a whole story you're about to get into. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. But if you ever need to leave the country, if we're going to do a Japan trip at some point, you're going to need to send it in the mail. And I was terrified. So I, I went to. So for context, I was born in Massachusetts. And uh, in Massachusetts, when they give you a birth certificate, it's not called a birth certificate. It's like. Uh, I forget what it says specifically, but it's like the a declaration of birth or something, some bullshit like that. That doesn't quite say birth certificate on it. Um, so I live out in Arizona. I schedule an appointment with my local post office to do everything for my um, my passport. So I show up with my declaration of birth and my social security card. And, oh, and um, I pay them like 300 fucking dollars or whatever it was. And I go through the whole procedure and they look at it and they're like, it's this is not a birth certificate. And I was like, the fuck are you talking about? This is the only document that I was ever given in my entire life. And they're like, this is not a real birth certificate. It doesn't say birth certificate anywhere on it. And I was like, I swear to God, this is like th- this is never it. born. <laughs> yeah. And so. They were like, okay, well, we'll mail this off, but we don't expect this to get approved. So they put my birth certificate and social security number and $300 in an envelope and sent it off through the post office. This is what you have to do, by the way. There's no other alternative way of of doing this shit. Mm, Um, So I, I have no way of tracking this shit either. So I have no way of knowing like when stuff's getting processed. And apparently it can take like, like months like some people have waited like half a year this is also during the covid times as well too Mm -hmm. so like shit was extra backed up um but so i go and i call my hospital that i was born in during this time to be like hey i was told this wasn't a real birth certificate just in case can you send me like Mm. a replay you know what i mean like certainly Mm -hmm. if your house burned down or something Mm -hmm. you would need to um get get something like that. So I try calling them, but the hospital I was born in flooded and got shut down. So I called the city, like the city offices, registry or whatever from the city I was born in. And they were like, you have to call your hospital. We don't have it. So I was stuck in this weird situation for months where the Arizona post office was telling me it was not a real birth certificate the city I was born in was telling me to call my hospital and my hospital was flooded and destroyed. (laughs) Like, like that, like I was like, what the fuck do I even do? Um, so I just waited, I just waited like three months with no word, just no birth certificate, no social security card, nothing, just all out of my hands, set in an envelope by people that didn't seem like they knew what they were doing. Until one day I got a package and my birth certificate was in there and my social security card was in there and a brand spanking new passport was in there too. So uh, that scares the shit out of me, dude. Yeah. Like I get the the end of the story is everything ended up being just fine. But again, just the person like there has to be a better way. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. like fix that. Like Biden, if if you're going to do anything, like no one's going to reelect you for, no no one's going to reelect you for like, 
making the process of getting a passport somewhat more like or somewhat less anxiety inducing. Yeah. But like, I would respect you for it. Please, Please. do something. Yeah, that's right. I, um, I, I just, I, I mean, for that reason, to some degree, I am ter- horrified of shipping stuff like that. So I was just like, yeah, bring it. Cause they're coming for Thanksgiving. And I'm like, just, yeah, bring it at that point. That's still within the realm of time where I need to actually do it. Need to. Nothing fucking happens if you don't do it in time. Um, but um, I actually don't know if that's true. I'm just I'm <laughs> get a knock on your door. Um, yeah. So, well, I get an alert. Toss those melons. The FDA has warned consumers to throw out certain cantaloupes with possible salmonella contamination. <clears throat> You got so, salmonella in your melons? That, now that your we're doing the show live, now that we're doing this show live for some people, I can give out alerts to to people. So chat everyone, if you, have candel- if you have cantaloupes, check them and toss them out. The FDA warns. Yeah. No, no salmonella melons in this house. Uh yeah, you know, yeah. So I, I my my I had to getting the water turned on was such a fucking pain in the ass because it was you could only go in. So it's like a $500 deposit and you could only go in um, during my work hours. So I had to go to fucking downtown that shit. Cleveland. Now that I, I work downtown Cleveland, bro, downtown Cleveland sucks ass. I want to go to so downtown fresh. Cleveland with you. We're going to do a vlog in downtown Cleveland. It's so ass. I want to go to the anyway, rock and roll hall of fame when I'm there. You want to take me to the rock and roll hall of fame? I don't know where in Cleveland that is. I, I, will, I will absolutely it's by the waterfront by the is it downtown Browns Cleveland? I stadium. fucking hate downtown Cleveland, bro. It's hey, horrible and it stinks. On it my smells way back like from shit. the airport, it smells like New Jersey. On my way back from when you pick me up from the airport, we're gonna go stop at the Rock and Roll Hall. We'll do a little mini vlog. We'll go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and we'll get lunch and we'll make it a whole okay. experience. Fine, sure. And then you can take can me to that. a little anime lounge in Cleveland. Oh yeah, a little little Cleveland anime lounge. Well, I'm, I'll take it to fucking University Circle because that that place is actually nice. <laughs> Fuck downtown Cleveland. Walking through it sucked. I had to do it a few times. I got my water uh, in my name. Woohoo. Gas and electric in my name. Woohoo. That was a much easier, a much easier experience. Holy fuck. Um, but the internet, the internet, brother. So I, when I'm, when I was home in uh, Connecticut, I, <laughs> I, had got gigabit internet soon before I left Connecticut. I got it maybe like six months or so. Gigabit means 1000 megabits per second. It better. Right. So I don't, I don't know how much, how, how familiar you are with the numbers and what they mean. But the, but I don't the, gigabyte. So I assume gigabit was like yeah, a version yeah. of that. So, yes. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit is one eighth of a byte. Yeah. So it's, you get one eighth of a gigabyte. Per second download. But a gigabyte is a thousand twenty four megabytes per second. Yeah. So then why would a gigabit internet be a thousand? It's, it's an one eighth, eighth of, of it's one it's what is that? I don't know. What is one twenty five? One twenty five megabytes per second? Megabits that per second. That would be a gigabyte. Now you're fucking me up, Zach. You're fucking me up. You're fucking me up. Why are you doing that? Fucking me up, bro. It's actually fucked up. You know Jelly um, Roll. You know that. You know, wait, you're you're getting ahead of my brain, dude. My brain's working. <laughs> hey, you were thinking you're thinking about Jelly Roll. No, there's a guy <laughs> different. Um, <clears throat> internet. Uh, when I when I'm when I when I think a gigabit, I think of one thousand megabits per second or one gigabit per second download, and one thousand upload. Right, that I feel like that's normal. Maybe I'm just fucking stupid, but I feel like that's normal. I'm out here in fucking Cleveland, signing up, paying sixty something, maybe more dollars a month with Spectrum. The only thing that comes to my house, I'll tell you, gigabit was, internet. There's, there's a little bit of a spectrum going on here, <laughs> bro. My my Spectrum came out when I read the numbers that I was reading. I. Got the internet, it got installed, and I was like, all right, we're, we're good, we're set, no worries. It was a thousand megabits per second down. I'm like, hell yeah. 35 up. 35. Yeah. That's 30 times 
30 times less than I want. That's one thirtieth of the speed I want. That's so fucking stupid. Dude, I was so furious. I'm Have I told furious. you how much I paid for internet in my old apartment? I paid for and uh, how much I got out of it. Have I been over that on the show before? No, no. <laughs> okay. I paid Maybe. $50 a month. This was 2000 and, oh, 17, 18, something like that. And um, I paid $50 a month in downtown Tempe. What do you think I got? And it was the only provider I, I had that I could have gotten. Like a hundred. Down to. Nope. Less? Less. <clears throat> 30. 30 down, three up. I paid $50 a month for 30 down, three up oh, in an apartment. And I had no bucks. other options for any other providers. I would be fucking in downtown serious. Tempe, Arizona. <laughs> it was a nice place. Serious. I actually really liked it. I really liked that apartment. But uh, yeah, that internet. I mean, I mean, again, a thousand I remember down. like a video game would come out and it would be like, a hundred gigabytes because this is like back when like the xbox one was first coming out and people were like i mean it's still bad but you know what i mean this was like the yeah, first you, time you ever played modern warfare 2 or anything it was like, <laughs> yeah it was fucking ridiculous yeah, no like this was like oh the master chief collection this is an awesome idea and it came out and it would be like 80 gigabytes and i would yeah, sit yeah, there yeah. for like three yeah. days watching yeah. one game download yeah and i'm like that's my worth internet it, bill for the month worth it though it's worth it. It's worth download. Um, I, wait, and again, like wait, a we thousand got a down. comment. We got a comment. Ooh, who is it? Um, Evan says, "Why is the right streamer so much louder than the left streamer?" I think he's talking about you. I don't know. I'll turn you down more. Ah, is it better, Ev? Evan, is it better? It should be better. I do want fan interaction here. Again, my dream for a live version of the show is people to call in. I wish someone would join. I mean, I could drop the link here. I'll drop I'll drop the link. No, no, in no, no. I mean like random people to call in and like be me. Well, we wouldn't know who it is until they got here and they said who they were. We just put it on 4 Yeah, I was gonna say. I was like I was thinking, I was like, how do we Evan said not really, but it's not really that big of a deal. Well, this will get edited anyways. Yeah, so. it's going to be. Yeah. I don't, yeah, know, I don't just, know if this is client sided. It oh. might just be your mic being too loud, but that's not a big deal. Who gives a fuck? I can. Uh, I mean, I can fuck around with some shit if you want, but. Um, what was I going to say? Some uh, bullshit, yeah. probably. Yes. Yeah, thir- a, thousand, a thousand down and 35 up does what I want, to be frank. I mean, like a thousand down is what I wanted, obviously, but at 35 up, I can still stream. I can do all that, whatever the fuck, and that's fine. What I did not realize is what happens when you buy a router that um, isn't... Uh, I spent $100 on a router thinking we're not going to really be using Wi-Fi that much. I'm going I'm to plug into it. It's not going to matter how good it is. Yeah, they just... If, you, if I like download while uploading... I just it just overheats and my internet turns off for you like five minutes. You need a gaming router, dude. I, the one I'm looking at is two hundred forty dollars, and I'm like, fuck. I mean, they spent a hundred dollars on this one for no reason at this point. Um, that's fine. I mean, that's what I'm I'm gonna end it's up having to do. Tax write off when we get two dollars right. worth of ad revenue in here. You're right. You're right. It's not wrong. Everything's um, tax write off. Uh, that's what that's what I'm gonna end up having to do. Um, at whenever I. I mean, it's, it impacts my life so little. Like, it's just very specific scenarios. Um, but I've been streaming. I streamed both Thursdays, and I'm going to start streaming on another day. I don't know what day it is going to be. Um, like, actual, like, I, I also have an alt stream that I've been doing where I, there's no mic or anything. It's just me playing a game or doing something or editing. I could, you saw. Um, but I've streamed um, editing before, too. It went I love well, it. I love but it. my equipment for it was pretty bad. I love, I love, I love streaming editing. It makes it, uh, it's nobody even said anything in the chat. Really? I think Brian might've said something once, but I don't, it's not even like for about 20 minutes and then I left. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just like having the potential for fan interaction fan. That's so cringe for, for my friends to interact. I'm your fan. You're a fan of mine. Yeah. I'm your only fan. Dude. I actually have to shit on ironically. Do you want to take a little intermission? Um, I don't know how to do a BRB screen on this. We should have just done OBS.
Yeah, we should have. Get the shit too. We should bring no, shit boys. But I can lay down for a moment. Are you tired? Are you sleepy? I mean, I'm not sleepy. What are you? What what are three things that you are right now? Kind of gay is one. Um, I'm always hungry. So hungry. Um, and I'm a little cute. I would argue a little bit more than little. But yeah, wait. Before I before I go poop, what was I gonna say? Yeah, tell me. You're gonna explain Remind why me. your head got so long. What what is wrong with my my camera? Am I just like too like this? Do I have to like beat sit back more? This Maybe. Better? I don't know. Wait, like, I like I'm really white too. I'm like snow white. I haven't gone I, outside very much to, to, to you speak on your like how, how yeah, like how you're enjoying Cleveland. I I went to Trader Joe's twice this week. Um I went to Whole Foods. I went to Sam's to get, gro- get groceries. Um, that's it. So I have to have shit. So I'm going to turn my camera off and I'll be back. If you want to continue talking, go ahead. I'm just going to go poop. <laughs> okay. So we'll be back. Evan says why he looked like Frylock. I can answer that when you're gone, but I'll wait for you to leave. So how do I turn off my camera? I figured it out. All right. See, I'm I'm Meatwad. He's Frylock. We're looking for a master shake. Has he asked me how I've been one time? He's such a good friend. Evan says, whoa. Evan, how are you? We love you. We love our friends. We love a good active friend, a good supportive friend. (laughs) You just reply to people on Snapchat that have messaged me since the show started. Bro, so my 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 commies lost today. My Washington commies lost today. That's what I'm going to talk about for a minute here because this is this is live, and I assume this is going to get edited out. Oh, now Ben's commenting on shit too. But yeah, I assume this is going to get edited out. So I'm just going to vent for a little bit, dude. I I don't know what's I, this team gives me hope, and then it throws it all away. At this point, you know, you traded two of your star defensive players away for kind of just a mid round, some mid picks. Just, just, just tank, man. You know, just get it all over with. Just rebuild next year. Fire some fucking people. This shit's just gotten me all out of sorts. I, I dealt with all kind of shit. I believed in Sam Howell in the off season. I really did. Everyone was trashing on him. There was that one Twitter, that one famous um, Twitter account for NFL stuff, and it's like, oh, imagine being excited for the NFL season when this is your quarterback, and it's a picture of Sam Howell. All the fans shitted on him for for a long time. I was right there saying, man, this guy was like projected to be way higher than a fifth round pick. You know, look at him; he's showing out. He's the best quarterback we've had in a while. Ron Rivera is throwing this shit out. I don't know what the everyone's dick riding Eric B enemy dude's just fucking not the playing a balanced football game. His game plans are pretty awful. Jack Del Rio just the running the took one of the best defenses in the NFL and turned it into one of the worst defenses in the NFL in one off season. I don't know what's going on. There's talent. I don't know. I'm pretty invested. I own jerseys. I went to a game this year. I'm going to another game. I spent a lot of money going to this other game. It's my fucking team for my fucking city. <laughs> They give me a lot of hope, man. Instead, it's just a lot of a lot of middling, a lot of being in the middle of shit. You know, you can beat some good teams, you can lose to some awful teams. It just makes me look like a fool, you know. Now we got this Jets Raiders game on Sunday Night Football, <laughs> tied up. Those are some interesting teams. They just sacked Zach Wilson, I believe. Just live commentate this game. Sorry, the Zach guy stinks. I don't know. Give me something more interesting to talk about. Maybe can I scare the shit out of you? Get back here quicker. This is what happens when you let me talk on my own devices with no preparation. 
I could go back to reading the Constitution again if you want to. But I don't know. I like venting about my football team. Because they, they, just, they just fucking suck. They blow it. I don't know. We could just skip through. You want to just read the, the amendments? Instead, we just skip straight to the amendments. I can do that instead. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to peace, peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Read the 17th. Okay. I should get a Bible. I should just read Bible verses. Ah, oh, shit. They're doing Roman numerals. Okay. I got to go. Kind of like do math to do the fucking. Um, okay. I think this is the 17th. 17 is XVII, right? That's 10, five, two. Yeah. Okay. You said it. Oh, I'm, I'm happy. I said it before you posted that comment. Okay. <laughs> The Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from each state elected by the people thereof for six years, and each senator shall have one vote. The electors in each state shall have the qualification requisite for electors, turn page, of the most numerous branch of the state legislatures. When vacancies happen in the representation of any state in the Senate, the executive authority of such state shall issue writs of election to fulfill such vacancies, provided that the legislator of any state may empower the executive thereof to make temporary appointments until the people fill the vacancies by election as the legislature may may direct. This amendment shall not be so construed as to affect the election or term of any senator chosen before it becomes valid as a part of the Constitution. Y'all really chose a long-ass amendment. All right, what else can we do? I'm going to reply to another Snapchat. We could just go through and read. Here, my, my phone gives me news headlines. Let's see. Uh, Luma AI launches Genie, a new 3D generative AI model that lets you create 3D objects from text. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it'll still have like the finger thing. You know how you'll go to like an AI thing and it'll do a pretty decent image and then the fingers will all be fucked up. I wonder if the 3D, the text to 3D, uh, my voice cracked. Voice the crack. text to Your 3D. Voice crack. That was fucking yeah. funny. Sell, dude. Yeah, Your yeah, little yeah, pussy yeah. ass voice crack. But I wonder if it'll do the little finger thing. Hey, a scientist says the singularity will happen by 2031. I don't know what the fuck that means. The singularity. <laughs> Apparently, will we, gotta, we gotta. Should I read that article? Should I go more yeah. in depth on that? Okay. I don't know. This the singularity is, was going to happen. This. <laughs> this is a. Uh, <laughs> you ever watch Smiling Friends? Who? Smiling Friends, like Zach yeah. Adel animated yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you yeah. See Psy- the, Psy- 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see the bit about the Renaissance men in that show? No. Uh, that reminds me of it. Okay, so I don't know how valid this article is because sometimes my phone recommends me some genuine horseshit. But this is an article on popular mechanics written by Tim, Tim Newcomb, November 9th, 2023. A scientist says the singularity will happen by 2031. Um, there are some bullet points here. I'm going to skip those. There's at least one expert who believes that the singularity, the moment when artificial intelligence surpasses the control of humans, could be just a few years away. That's a lot shorter than the current predictions regarding the timeline of AI dominance, especially considering that AI dominance is not exactly guaranteed in the first place. Ben Gorlitz, Gortzell, Ben Giordazel, CEO of SingularityNet, who holds a PhD from Temple University and has worked as a leader of Humanity Plus in the Artificial General Intelligence Society, told Decrypt that he believes Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, is three to eight years away. AGI is the term for AI that can truly perform tasks just as well as humans, and it's prerequisite for the singularity soon following. How does that make you feel, white boy? I just want you to know this is all staying in. So yeah, I don't know what the fuck you just said. You said some Neil deGrasse Tyson ass fucking <laughs> bullshit. But I'm just letting you know this is all staying in. You're gonna you're gonna sound really smart for like 35 seconds. But after that, bro, everybody's gonna know you're a little 
dumbass. <laughs> the football reason, shit I was talking yeah. about was very for me and very time sensitive. I personally I, wouldn't I keep watched, it in, but it's your thing to say. Your thing to say to keep I, it. I watched the entire thing, and I always think so. Listen, <laughs> I watched, and this is going to be. I watched like the I think it was like the first the first video, maybe one of the first uh, Rooster Teeth podcast video fucking version, whatever. It's. And um, they were talking about how cool it was that Halo Four is going to come out. Like they're like, oh, they just announced Halo Four or whatever, and they were talking about it. And I was like, I saw a picture mind, of like, me pop up from my from Facebook memories that my dad took of me uh, at at the midnight release of Halo Four. Yeah, I, that was I, hilarious. I, my brain is like. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know that this is where it goes downhill. I okay. Can I give my? Can I give a hot? Maybe not. But maybe it's like a neutral mid Halo take, like a lukewarm. I feel like there's no bad Halo takes anymore. Everyone's right in some capacity Halo now. One, two, and three just got progressively better. Halo Four was not incredible, but it was still fun. Halo Five was only fun if you were playing Warzone and Halo Infinite. It has started off really good, then then didn't add any content, and now it's fucking awesome. That is my I don't know, that might be a lukewarm take. I disagree with some of the middle stuff you said. I think Halo 4 had an awesome campaign and an awful multiplayer, and I think Halo 5 had an awful campaign and an awesome multiplayer. And I didn't care for Warzone that much. I just genuinely liked its multiplayer. I didn't um, I didn't play too much of the the multiplayer. I did play the beta. I was part of the beta. But the Warzone is where I found my most fun in Halo 5. You are a beta. My most fun that I had in Halo 5 was playing Breakout, but everyone hated it, and then they scrapped it. I Whatever. Breakout was interesting. That it was, was great. Part, it was the most interesting I, thing Halo did in a while. That was That's the one that was in the beta, right? Did you just say yeah, that? I think it was also in the beta, yeah. But it was in that the was launch game, like, too. Go, and then you hit the ground. Yeah. And you go, do, 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 do. There like, was... All right. So a lot of fans didn't like it because it was different. Breakout sucked. You fucking suck. Can I ban him? Can I just ban your friends from speaking we, anymore? <laughs> Breakout was awesome. It was like the most interesting thing to a Halo game. That what was interesting also, about it? <clears throat> say it. Well, I, 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 let me preface this by saying I'm an arena shooter type of player. They're out of style. They're out of date now. I get it, but that's how I play. I don't play big team battle. I don't play Warzone. I like the tight knit like arena style shooters. And Breakout was like that, but it like put a different twist on it. I get that like CS:GO and shit like that exists too. But for like a shooter that I like to kind of put like a little twist on some of the movement mechanics in the game and then also implement this mode where it's kind of like you genuinely have to work as a team to like coordinate shit together and you only have like one life and it's like a round based system i know it's not innovative in like the entire gaming space but for halo it was the most refreshing like time of me playing the games uh in a while i did not like how all the maps looked well that's fucking who cares who gives there a was, shit about how the maps one map, looked i thought that was cool that, but i have a weird nostalgia with that one map that says like the grid floor and it's like it's that's like a dark blue color maps. yeah I, I, I have maps. weird nostalgia for that i don't know if i like it or not though <laughs> I don't really care yeah. for it. I, I mean, I don't care whether them. I personally liked it, but they could have looked. However, I liked the game mode, right? Like I enjoyed like that experience. You, okay. Let's, let's talk about what, this, might, this. We might have a differing opinion as far as halo fans go, because but I, I, I want to finish this story. Yeah, of go, breakout yeah, yeah. though really quick because I, I really liked it. Ethan and I, Ethan really liked it. We had a breakout team kind of going. Um, and then Unfortunately, 343 tried to push it a lot on people, and there was this MLG event where they mandated that all the MLG players play Breakout as a part of the tournament, and all the players protested by killing themselves and forfeiting every game of Breakout. You oh, can find this on game. YouTube. Holy yeah. shit. And so, and so 343 after that just completely retconned everything with Breakout. They were, first they removed it from all the matchmaking shit. It was gone for months. Then they brought it back, but they made it just a different game. Like They gave like all the power weapons involved in it. Uh, I think you could respawn at some point in the game. Like they just made it like a different game. Um, they put like capture the flag. I forget what the fuck they did, but they essentially just changed the core functions of the game. And we were all kind of like, this is just dead. Like, mm. like the, like three, four, three tried to force it on the fans. They didn't like naturally let people that wanted to play it, continue to play it. 
and the fans that it was forced on hated it. And so then they forced 343 to just like completely gut it. And now it's, I've never had that experience again. Go ahead. Um, I think that we have a interesting, you said bring back holding a pistol carrying the flag. I don't know if I hate or love that. I'm indifferent. I don't care. Um, so I miss flag I, juggling though. People don't flag juggle like they used to. I watched dude. Evan uploaded a video the other day of him playing. Uh, it was a unlisted video, but he uploaded a video of him the, the other day playing capture the flag. Listed pussy. And he, he was juggling the flag. And I was like, I don't think I've ever in any halo game. I always got annoyed when I would hear flag drop flag, take it flag. And I was like, I never, I don't want to me, be part to of me, that. That's like, <clears throat> That's what's kind of fun about like early gaming is like people finding little advantages and exploits yeah. and shit. And like, you know, like think about crouch jumping, like sure. It became a thing developers were aware of, but like for a while it was just a consequence of having a jump function and a crouch yeah. function yeah. and certain yeah. players would use it to like, you know, that's why like halo two and three have such an interesting skill curve to me in my mind is because there's a lot of stuff about the game that are physics based and it's not like, the developers design these mechanics to be like super twitchy or anything, but because it's a more physics-y sandboxy type of game, it kind of allows players who are more skillful at like the core mechanics of the game to like manipulate shit in ways other players mm-hmm. aren't allowed to do. And mm-hmm. I feel like flag juggling is kind of a part of that where it's like, you know, it's a very basic setup. You pick up a flag, you can drop it and then you your objective is to deliver it. But this mechanic of like throwing and catching and throwing and catching and throwing and catching and kind of doing this a little bit more risky maneuver to give your team like a slight advantage. I don't know. It just reminds me of like some of the early gaming kind of just like skill curve knowledge shit that I kind of miss, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, um, it is annoying to hear it in your kill feed though. It is annoying. I I, I never, I never really flag, uh, flag juggled. Um, but, um, pussy, I know. Uh, Halo Infinite is so good right now. Yeah, the new update you, was pretty sick. I, I played it? it a little bit. Uh, not like every day or anything, but I'm playing a little bit of it. I think I'm 21 in the battle pass or something, so I've done I enough to it, like get through yeah, half, almost half the battle pass. Yeah. I think it is the best that it has ever been. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's just like they kind of squandered their, their initial player base and their reputation. I and I also think that uh, Fortnite, even though I haven't played it as much as I'd like to. It's so funny that people are giving that much of a shit about it right now. Dude, Fortnite OG is, I don't know what it, I think it's the, I think it's the whole less is more mentality. It is the, it, it's the most fun I've had playing Fortnite since 2018, since five years ago when I played it for the first year or whatever. I, I, I just OG hate that all so these, all, all of these, um, like battle royale games, they all operate on this same like scarcity model together. And it's like, now they're in this stage where they don't need to like do shit. Right. Like FOMO, like the, you mean? No. When I say scarcity, I mean like there's only one map and then they get rid of that one map. You know what I mean? Like they all operate yeah. out of this like limited quantity, limited shit that makes things like, I, I guess more interesting. They, they're almost like commodifying their own experience, if that makes sense. And, you know, that's cool. Like, I think from a marketing perspective, like I appreciate the scarcity of some items, but I just hate how it's kind of made. Like it almost feels like lazy game development to me now where it's like Warzone is kind of teasing the return of Verdansk and everyone's going crazy over it. Fortnite's teasing the return or they've already done it. They've done the return of their like OG map. I think there was another example. I forget what game it was. Maybe it was Apex or something doing a similar thing. And it's all around the same time period, too. It almost feels coordinated. I know it's not, but like, oh, you just brought up Apex. They do maps pretty well, but yeah, I don't fucking know. I'm not an Apex guy, so maybe it's a different game when I got Apex, that wrong. Apex is but, like, I, I thought it was like one, so fun for not that long, <laughs> and then it was not fun at all. Go ahead. Yeah, but, but I guess the point of what I'm trying to say is it just feels so lazy to me that all of these developers have to do now to make another $5 million to generate all this hype and everything well, that, to say, that, we're going to implement the old shit again. It's like, okay, so here's, I'm fucking here's, not there for it. Like, I'm sorry. All right, all right, 
All right, let me let me give you. I'm going to give you scenarios, and you're gonna you're gonna tell me what you think. Okay. How about uh, runes, uh, old school RuneScape? Are you familiar I, at all? Uh, I mean, I know about it. I never played RuneScape once in my life, though. It's one time I was playing like it's, yeah, that, that's very true. Um, so that would be a fun game to play on stream. Um, old school RuneScape is, and I think like 2013 or something. Probably even earlier. They brought back the 2006 build of RuneScape. Didn't WoW do something similar? WoW made WoW Classic servers. How do you feel about that? Is that different? I never played WoW, so again, it's like I I'm, I only hear about these things from other people, and I only get opinions from other people that are qualified to have opinions. So it's like the people that were upset by it that I heard about. It's like, but, but oh, the idea of the uh, idea know? of is the idea of classic servers or bring back old stuff? Is it just a flat? Like a, a flat, like cheap kind of like gimmicky. Well, did WoW do classic servers on the side and you could still play the current version of WoW mm-hmm. or did they just reset? Yeah, because that's not what Fortnite's doing, right? Like Fortnite, it's just, are they running well, both separately or is there, so, they just redid the map? Fortnite has so much shit going on now that it, that it, when in 2018 it was so different, you hit play and you would just do a, do the thing. Now they have so much like mini games and all this garbage. But for the for it from November third to December third, it is Fortnite OG, and then after that, it's going back to whatever the fuck it's going to be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like again, I like I don't know because I played a lot of Master Chief Collection, right? That's a classic kind of reboot of something I enjoy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just how do I put this? There's a difference to me between like we're going to provide you with like a nostalgic experience and like kind of your marketing now for your new thing is we're just doing the old shit. You know what I mean? Like the new shit is now the old shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know to me, it, it just doesn't feel, it just doesn't feel like great. But of course the shit I'm a fan of, if they did the old shit again, I would love it. You know, and, yeah. and me being a big fan of X, them doing X classic, I would love. Sure, still feels lazy, you know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, that uh, I want. I want to bring it back to our conversation about uh, Halo real quick because I I realized that I went on another tangent, millionth tangent. I think that we, based on what you just said about Halo Five, I think we have different ideas. What is your favorite part of Halo? I guess <laughs> flat out. Just in general. Yeah. Arena Slayer. So you like just competitive Halo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm I I like the sandbox. I I like fucking around with the sandbox. Uh, BT- I mean, me too. I mean, I don't know because I don't like big team battle anymore. I feel like I liked big team battle in like Halo Three when I could like knock the shit out of a warthog or like I could do like an epic sand trap run or something, and I'm like fucking around with the elephants or like you know we're in the warthog and we're drive we got the flag and to escape the team we're driving through the guardian zone you know what i mean yeah. like like that type of shit was always fun to me about halo big team battle is like again kind of that skill curve and manipulating the games in these different weird ways and it being more like physics based where like i could throw a trip mine and watch someone go you know what i mean like that yeah. shit was always fun to fuck around with but i feel like if i load up halo infinite big team battle None of the shit moves. You know what I mean? I can't knock someone off of anything. You, you know, like it's yeah, all yeah. just like skill shooting shit. And like doing that on a large scale isn't as fun for me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get what you're saying. Like I would um, rather, if I'm going to do just like a basic shooting melee style combat, I would rather be in a small place where I get to like really focus on like the team in front of me. Yeah. And I, not I, just. The, the reason that I'm infatuated with Halo Infinite right now is, well, I think the I thing that you, got me... I've never on my own, well, aside from the first month of it being launched, I've never solo playing launched Big Team Battle on Halo Infinite. It's always been like a oh, friend that's I, wanted I, to I do it. I, there are so few games that I play alone, so I, I completely get that. Evan, Evan said, though, 360 Halo multiplayer was better than MCC. BTB felt different than in recent MCC reach. I was thinking about this, too. It definitely feels different now. MCC feels different now than it did. And I think what it is, is... I haven't played it in a pit. MCC 
is a game for Halo fans. But like when Reach came out on a 360, like you know, it wasn't just Halo fans. <laughs> Halo fans playing Reach. It was like a fuck ton of people playing. Like MCC is specifically made for people that want to return to Halo. At the at, in 2010 or whatever when Reach came out, like that wasn't. You know what I mean? Like that was just the. <laughs> You know what I mean? That, that was that. Yeah. I mean, that was the game. I know what you're trying to get that. Yeah. Um. So I, I think that's why it felt different. Is because ev- it was so new to everybody, and you know, not everybody knew everything, and you know, whatever all the exploits. Um. I don't know. Um. Fucking Halo, is so awesome though, dude. I want to. I want to. I want to think about, it. dude. So, I, I have like. I don't. Know, I think it's Halo's fault. I think I have like movement autism um so so what was yeah i was gonna was that a crumb a little crummy yeah it was just a piece of paper so You're when i get crummy. shot in halo and i can just walk away at the same speed that i when it, whenever that i think ruined my life um Evan said, "I played ETD for two nights in a row. I did see him playing that, like two, like hour, like multiple. What did he say? Like five hour sessions. Infinite is so fun. Infinite isn't the best one it's ever been. I'm, I'm happy you like it. Again, a lot of my friends just play Big Team Battle as well too. I'm yeah. just saying, Big Team Battle doesn't feel as fun as it did in like Halo Three to me. Yeah, I would rather just play Arena Slayer and Infinite. Yeah. Mm. This water is so tr- ice mountain water." We asked for Poland Spring and they didn't have any, so they brought us Ice Mountain Water on Uber Eats or something. I don't remember what it was. My, Fucking my, awful. My girlfriend's one of those people that like know the good water brands and like refuse to buy like Dasani and shit like that. And she's like into like the what waters are good or not. Just I, drink I personally, Poland Spring. That's all I you gotta drink. I personally couldn't tell you. I personally couldn't tell you what's a good bottled water or not. If it's bottled water, I couldn't tell you if it's good. Couldn't. This is true. I've never had water. I don't like a lot of tap waters, but also I live in a city where a lot of tap water is just bad. BTB maps. The fucking heart is in the way. I can't read what he's saying. The BTB maps are bad for vehicles. They need more open maps and neutral equipment. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure. Can I just talk about the gravity hammer in in Halo Infinite? It feels so awful. Yeah, I hate sucks. that shit, bro. That just I just like me movement, off. man. Like what like that's a part of what I love about Halo is like I can gravity hammer a warthog and it goes vroom. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I don't yeah. need to necessarily kill someone. I can just knock someone off base. Like you. you know, like if I throw a grenade at someone in Halo 3, like not only does it damage them, but they get a little vroom. You know what I mean? They get a little vroom. Yeah. Like they float back a little yes, bit. Like exactly. Yeah. Like when I jump, I can like navigate my character as he's falling down. Right. Like, Mm -hmm. like there's just certain things like I understand it's a little cartoonish, but like for me, a part of the fun was like knocking people around and getting knocked back and like pushing people off maps. And like there was this weight to Halo. You know what I mean? Where like when I'm in these sandboxes, it's like I am not only shooting my opponent, but I am like knocking people. I am like jumping. I am doing these crazy things just like the game's not complicated. Like I walk, I jump, I shoot, I melee. Like that's really all there is to it. But it's built in this like open way with these physics to where like I can manipulate shit because I know how the game works. Whereas in like Halo Infinite, it's like I love it. Don't get me wrong. I like playing Halo Infinite, but I like playing Halo Infinite as a shooter. For me, there's like really no sandbox for me to like play around with. There's no player collision. Again, I know that's like a silly little thing to complain about, but well, like a big deal. It I is a miss big deal. jumping on my friends' heads and blocking hallways and shit. Like yeah, I don't know. I mean the the equipment, dude. Like the 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 graphics. The equipment, so yes. Good. Evan's so absolutely good. right with talking about the neutral equipment. Yeah, it's it's so good. I, 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 dude, oh, fuck, dude. I, I, I really like Halo Infinite. I wish it would just, the netcode wasn't as shitty as it is. And I wish the physics, I don't know if it's, a, again, I don't know if it's the physics themselves or if it's just a poor netcode type deal because, like, I think I their know. netcode is pretty piss poor. I mean, I'm not like a coder and I'm not like a network engineer or anything. Yeah. But I remember early on in Halo Infinite, there were all sorts of like, Hitbox issues, issues and, and desync issues, and yeah, it was just kind of a mess. So, I remember um, when you would load up theater mode for the first like year of Halo Infinite, 
it just like the player movements would be completely different. Like you would know you would walk through a hallway and then you'd watch it in theater mode and you would be like jumping in like a different corner. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Mm -hmm. what? It's like the server is just completely wrong. Like, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I just yeah the the equipment is such a good ad. I don't know why they removed player, player collision. They they don't have assassinations yet. They don't have firefight. Yet. I don't give a shit they? about oh, assassinations. It would be cool if they added assassinations. There's some shit. Also, the Halo community also sucks. That's why I don't give a shit about any of this stuff anymore. The Halo community will like, you know, like the core aspect of the game will be fundamentally wrong, and there will be a lack of content in the game and there will be networking issues and there'll be like the like the, the 343 will just straight up fucking lie to you and stuff will be wrong but yet the, there will be these posts on the front page of the halo reddit where it's like still haven't got playable elites not buying the game until we get playable elites it's like yeah, what the fuck yeah. like like they'll say that and then they'll do the shit with assassinations too where they're like we need assassinations 343 it's like yeah they're cool don't get me wrong. That would be cool. Yeah, I, I don't it, need it. Doesn't them. make a, it's, it's a, yeah. Like it, there's no. It's not a make or break thing for me for the game. Assassination. I, I love firefight. I miss firefight, and I also sure. am so excited for Project Tatanka. In, you can play um in custom firefight games, right? in custom games. Yeah, have you done that? No. It's okay. Well, they, yeah, they have, I mean, they I wish it was more fleshed out, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But I, the, I brought up the the movement autism because I certain games hit what I need for movement. Fortnite is one of them. Clearly, <laughs> I, I it's just because I can run in a direction, and if I get shot, it doesn't stop or halt me at all. The jumping is nice and floaty, and wow! And it is it's, wow. it, it's, it's, the speed is perfect. Movement speed is perfect. It is great, especially. For actual Fortnite OG, like original Fortnite, it was it was great. Did they mess around with the movement at all in new, new Fortnite? Oh yeah, I mean, there's sprinting's uh, like a whole its own thing. Like you can you can run, but you can also sprint for a dedicated amount of time. It's yeah, it's a little different, but it's really great movement. That's why I couldn't play games like CS:GO and shit because it would just stop you when you like if you get shot, you just like stop in place. I'm like ah, just let me run away. Like let me get away from these people. The fuck you mean? stop me in place yeah and that's that's why i have issues with a lot of like i can't i competitive games often have that um i don't know you get hit and you stop in place or you like slow down i just can't i it it (laughs) just bothers me too much you know a game i really wanted to play but i i think is very dead now what what was the what was that one game i actually don't remember the name it was halo with portals Oh, I played this. It was free on Xbox. Something with an Slip H. Space or something? I... Slip. Oh my god. I played it. Hold on. I never I never I didn't play a single round of it, but I was like, if my friends play this, I would play it too, and it would be really fun. I played it with someone at one point. Probably Ethan, bro. I'm just saying. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, this might take me a second because I don't have it yeah. installed, which means I have to go through like every game I've ever installed. Any any game that I used I used to before Halo came out on PC, I used to play the I think Evan and I played Project Cartographer, and there were also which is just Halo Two, and then there was also um, a certain um, Halo coming to PC game. I don't remember what it was called, but it was really cool. Uh, Installation Zero Zero or something like that. Oh yes, I've been following the installation. I think it's a one project yeah. for like years. And then eventually it was shut down by three, four, three, but then some of them were offered jobs and then somehow it's still starting back up again. I, I'm not oh. quite sure what's going on there, but um, dude, finding ways to play Halo on PC before Halo came to PC was so fun. Um, it was uh, like smoking weed before it was legal. It was a bit dude, of a there's thrill a, there's a- of like, hunting that for shit true. that is true i've been there there was a there's a really good roblox uh ironically really good roblox halo mode and then oh dude, halo online el dorito yes Bruh. i remember that bro that shit was so fun that <laughs> was russian like, halo ports that, well that that was the reason that i think that's that's like the main reason that they brought um 
MCC to Steam or MCC to PC is because of MC, uh, Halo Online had thousands of players on it. Was wanting to play Halo on PC, and then we got it, which was great. Um, I <laughs> I'm still trying to find this shit. Slip. It slipped something, isn't it? I'm in the S's now. It wasn't Thrillville. It was not Thrillville. I have Thrillville from 2006 or whatever, 2008. Dude, I loved that game. I never played it. I know I did play it once. Underrated game. I did play it once. Um, Slipgate. Slipgate. Or Splitgate. Yep, Splitgate. I knew as soon as I said Slipgate, and I was like, that doesn't sound right. (laughs) Splitgate. Yep. It was yep, called never, Split Gate. I never was, actually played it. It was Which fun, but not for a very long time. It was one yeah. of those games. Yeah. There's a new game out now where you're like, it's like a shooter, but you're in like a game show and everything is destructible. You heard about this? I don't know. Mm, I, people were. Sorry, people were kind of upset because I think they used AI voice actors for some of it, which is kind of lame, but it looked really fun. I got to look this up. Game show shooter game. The finals. It's called the finals. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of this. No, I've been seeing like videos of it all over the place. I'm sure it's some like bullshit marketing on their part where they're getting a bunch of TikTokers to like play it. But the, um, the uh, videos I've actually seen from it look really fun. Like everything is destructible, but it's like a four V four class based shooter where the whole kind of thing is like you're kind of in this virtual reality like game show type thing yeah i I don't know how to explain it but it's called the finals you can see like a trailer for it online never never heard of this um you're not a big battle royale fan Mm, i'm picky I liked warzone for a bit and actually surprisingly enough i think call of duty's first attempt at a, my friends very much disagree with Don't me on blackout. this. They, Don't take fun of me for it. Yeah, Blackout was better. I liked Blackout. Fuck you. Yeah, everyone disagrees with me on it. I miss Blackout. Blackout was fun. I liked Blackout, uh, and I like I liked War. I like playing Warzone with my friends. I don't like playing it solo. I love you, Zach. Um, what the fuck is that opinion? I love you. I like. I, I get it. I like Hereditary. Didn't like it. Whoa. But like, bro, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that opinion? I, That's just a me opinion. I, I don't know. I blackout. miss I miss wing suiting. I miss me and my friends would always shoot for the boat and we'd take over the boat every time. I miss the hell like the, all the equipment. I could throw a little bomb airplane out at people. You could like grapple hook around everywhere. Like I don't know. I like how they did the map. It was all like various parts of Call of Duty from across the years, and they themed it um, throughout the. I don't know. It was just fun. Like I don't know. I enjoyed playing it. I, all the physics and shit too like you could get in cars and like run people over and they had this little like sidecar vehicle and we'd go like do jumps on it and yeah i wasn't a massive we'd sticky fan of bomb myself. we'd sticky bomb like helicopters and vehicles and then launch it at enemy squads mm-hmm. and blow it up and shit like i don't know it was fun it was fun in battlefield too you could you could stick it she was always get, fun like, in battlefield from... what battlefield 3 is one of the best video games of all time <laughs> wait did you play the beta Battlefield three, yeah, um, maybe that was, that was so long ago. Bad. Hmm. It was. I went to flames. I, I like bad. It was f- <coughs> flames, dude. It was so good. There was I went like to midnight release of Battlefield out. three or four. Which one was it? Let me go to my Facebook memories because some of this shit popped up recently. Um. Dude, Battlefield Three, that <laughs> that one level that's blue all the time. It's like a light blue cyan color, Metro yeah. something. Never, never. Oh, Metro, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking unbeatable. about. Unbeatable, unbeatable, dude. I'm telling you right, but fuck now, unbeatable. So good. It actually, is very uh, beatable. I think that sand trap. I don't know how to go back oh, into my Facebook memories because I know I got them somewhat recently. Yo. Sand Trap clears most maps of any games, of all games. Thoughts? Sand Trap from Halo 3? Yep, it clears. It's very good. Very good, right? It's very good. 
Um, I'm scrolling back. Why did people play on Rust and MW2? That map wasn't even that cool. It was just small. Is is that all it was? It was just just like a compact map? (laughs) Kind of. Hmm. I I didn't play that much MW3. Obviously, definitely didn't get competitive. I'm not good at games, so. I played Pokemon. I beat Pokemon Brown today on stream. On a on an alt stream. Here's, here's me and my dad Don't, in New York City under a Modern Warfare anything. 3 okay. sign. Hey dad. I'm not doxing anyone. I know we're live. Uh, I it was funny because I, I told Sean he was streaming Fortnite earlier, actually. And I said, hey, oh, yeah, you know, podcast, live podcast is, is happening soon. And he said, when? And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe he can join. <laughs> and, then he said, and then he said in the chat, he said, let me go. He said, when, let me know when you go live. I can probably watch. I'm falling asleep. Um, and then I was like, oh, oh, I'm maybe, looking through the wrong Maybe his section. doxing ass did not want to join us because he was, because <laughs> he knew he would dox someone. Maybe. I was totally looking through the wrong section of these pictures. My bad. That's funny. I, want, I wanted to think of a way that I could like show you my house. Battlefield 3. So here's a picture of me in line at Battlefield 3 midnight release. You're so hot. Wait. <laughs> Canceled. Um, we got pizza. They handed out pizza. I miss midnight releases, dude. I know that everything's digital now and like social, di- like people don't want to hang out and shit anymore. But like, Dude, I was a kid. I showed up in line. We got they let certain people in to play the game early. They gave everyone free pizza, and then I went home with like a new video game. This shit was awesome. And Battlefield Three was one of the greatest video games of like my life. And this is me in midnight release. I want to play Battlefield Three now. That's the game's super offline at this point. (laughs) They also redid that a little bit too. Um, Battlefield. I forget how they did this, but Battlefield Three. did like the legacy servers or whatever where you could play like all the old school battle. Like you can mix and match shit too. Like you could play on like a battlefield three map with guns from battlefield, bad company two, and all sorts of just stuff like that. Yo T's in the chat. Your boy, Tris, my boy T T dog. T dogs in the chat. The, uh, the pop out chat wasn't there back in the good old day. Yes. Sursky is. Yeah. Um, I, I did, I, my favorite battlefield game was battlefield, bad company two. Dude, and I love that game. Me and Evan Underrated, tried to play it a, a few. Yeah, me and tried, Evan tried to play it a few years ago, and it did not work well at all. And nobody was playing it. And it was really sad because that game was <laughs> fucking peak, bro. Peak game. Did you ever, did you ever play Battlefield nineteen forty two? Uh, was that the free one? Uh, I think so. One that was for a little bit on Xbox. I don't remember what it, was. it might have been nineteen forty two. There's also nineteen forty three, right? Yeah, this is also me in line at another midnight release. I forget which one this is. You look like a gr- you look like a mom. Why do you look like a mom? All right. You look like, look like you look like you're fucking forty. Right. You just, you're bringing your kids to the you what the fuck? Why do you look like a mom? I can't find the post this is associated with. I can only find the picture. But that's me in line for it was either like Halo Reach maybe. It was a, b- Dude, before the, Battlefield 3. Whatever it was, it was before Battlefield 3. Reach came out this on, a, on a weekday, I remember, because I was, I was going to go home. You think I couldn't You think I couldn't go to a midnight release on a weekday with my dad? That's crazy. My dad would <laughs> never. Um, my dad just likes video games, too. So oh, And Coke. The drink. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wrong guy. <laughs> yeah. um, no, my... Um, Reach came out on a weekday because I was in school and as I was walking out of the, I remember I was going home to my copy of Reach and I remember hearing in the hallways, Reach, Reach, everybody was screaming Reach. It was so hard. I was not dude. friends with anyone in real life. <laughs> like, well, I was friends with people in real life that were excited for it, but like not <clears throat> in my school. Oh yeah, every my dude. There were just like seniors that were hype as fuck to play Reach. I was a freshman. I also think I was living in West Virginia at the time. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Maybe people weren't like people in West Virginia. Or, into people video in Virginia games. don't even know what a fucking X, like, an Xbox is. People in Virginia are fine. I'm talking West Virginia. People in West Virginia don't even know what an Xbox is. What's the most recent I game did. you bought? 
the most recent game I bought, like spent money on. Yeah. Um, the honest to God, truthful answer is WWE 2K23 because me and my friends play like custom. It was on sale. We usually buy the games when they're on yeah, sale and it was finally on sale for like 50% off. And I, even then I split it 50, 50 with Ethan. Um, so that we can make funny characters and wrestle them with each other. But that's not like a serious, that wasn't like a serious game purchase. I'm trying to think what's you the last game I like. That's pretty serious. I did make you in it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what's the like last thing I spent actual money on to play. Yeah, because you have a game pass for everything, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a lot of the shit I want to play is on game pass too. The uh, the last game um, I bought was Super Mario Brothers Wonder, but I'm going to be buying Super Mario RPG on Friday. On Mario, dude, it's crazy. Now that I now that I look at it, I'm sure like, n- sorry, ninety percent of my game library on Xbox is like Game Pass. Yeah, Game Pass is huge. It's huge. <clears throat> the only ones I think I have like a few old Call of Duty games here. It's Battlefield Five, it's GTA Online, it's okay, so Madden. I I I say GTA That's about so it that I didn't I, that I've actually paid for. Oh, this Red Dead. Evan brought up the other day. The same guy brought up the other day that GTA isn't actually that good. GTA Five isn't actually that good. And I'm and I'm, I was thinking I was like, is that a, like a hot take? I was like, is that is that like just wrong? And I'm like, it only entirely times, depends on what kind of gamer you are. I, I like. GTA Online with friends is some of the I have more I have the most on Steam at least I have the most hours of any game is is GTA Five. There's just a lot of content. There's just so much content just, now. But, but just fucking around with your friends, driving around, shooting, you yeah, know, fucking doing heists. And GTA shit. Six trailer only weeks away. Only weeks away, and then we won't be completely outdated when I, uh, when we say this because, <laughs> um, yeah, that that's. GTA, f- I never played the campaign for GTA Five. To be, I, I never, I never. Got what? It was but, great. But G- the GTA, f- GTA Online, from the jump, I play GTA so Five fun. campaign. Why? It's great. It's a great. I know. I know. Already know game. how it ends. So I don't. It, yeah, but there's multiple endings. I will not deny GTA Online is great fun. Single player was all right. <laughs> Single player was great. Fuck you. Did you play Red Dead campaign all the way through? Me? Yeah, you. No, no. Do it. It's Zelda for cowboys and Americans. Yeah, it's not, it's not replayable, I think, is his, is his main point. Like, he doesn't want to... I, I don't, you know... I haven't played through Skyrim. Yeah, it's a single-player game. I'm, I'm so behind on my games. I've never, I've never beaten Skyrim. Don't say anything. Don't tell anybody, please. <laughs> I've never beaten Skyrim either. Oh, really? That's good. <laughs> um... Never once beat Skyrim. Alexa just sent me a video of my of the my cat being passed the fuck out. Oh, dude. So, all right. So we have a we have a Russian blue cat. I'm just sorry. I'm I'm messaging Alexa at the same time. We have a Russian blue, and she. I want to. What else? That Russian blue. Dude, that nice one. Boom. That was pretty sick, actually. Shotgun. Um. All he knows is Pokemon 24 FPS. Why are you making fun of me? I'm on your side. <laughs> what the fuck is the problem? <laughs> and then, uh, actually, I'll, I'll uh, Pokemon's run on six and uh, run to sixty FPS before they were three D. <laughs> so, um, um, my head looks so oily with this light on me. Keep it. Oh, we have a Russian blue, and I wanted to take that Russian. It's Alexis's cat, but I wanted to take it because I love her, and she doesn't play or anything. Queen. She's just nice. She's just like a massive slut. So I knew you were like your eyes were gonna do some shit. And I'm so, coming over to this house. <laughs> yeah. So she's been kind of depressed and uh stuck in a in the corner. She, you know, she's the senior cat. Um oh, I thought you made your girlfriend. <laughs> I was like no. she was um, Jersey that much. I thought she was down. Um, but uh Juliet is the, the cat is so fucking sweet and cute, and I can't get over how sweet and cute she is, and I just love her, and and she's now not always in the closet, which I'm I'm infatuated by. She was in the closet. The other day, I was streaming Temtem with Sean, and this fucking cat jumped up on my desk and meowed in the microphone. 
adorable. I'm not a cat person. I'm not really, I'm definitely like a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a dog owner a hundred percent. Like I, I, a dog lover a hundred percent. Um, I used to have a cat and I thought I was a cat person and then I got a dog and realized I was a dog person and I don't have cats again and I'm still a dog person. But I gotta say having one retarded freaking out stupid bitch cat and then having a sweet angel cat is a great dynamic. By the way, can I just actually bitch about Figaro for a second? That door behind that door, we have a we have a, our bedroom, which right now is pretty much just holding our clothes because we have a bed in every room. So there were three, two, there was a two beds and a in a fucking box spring right here, and I had to take a bed out of this room into the closet, into the into the clothes room, right? Mm-hmm. Figaro was running up and down. The, I'm doing this alone, running up and down. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're doing the meme. You're yeah. doing the meme. Um, we should just take a bunch of meme templates when I'm out there. Yeah, just picture meme templates we that we can definitely use. Should. Yeah. Um, I was thinking. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm gonna spoil it now. I was. I don't know your. I don't know where you. What your. Where your boundaries are, Zach, as far as what you do for content. <laughs> um, but I thought it would. <laughs> if. I thought it would be a funny thumbnail if we did like a live podcast. It'd be a th- funny thumbnail if we were just kissing. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. I mean, I would, but uh, like, but it, it actually, it's funny because I was, I was telling, what, what, what did he, she say? She, she made some joke, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna so be the getting the podcast is just an excuse for you to to flirt or yeah, whatever. And I, yeah, and I was I was like I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get my nut at the end uh, I thought it was at the beginning of January, at the end of January. I was like, I'm gonna get my nut at the, at the beginning of January. And she, she's like, You're actually you can't be alone with him. <laughs> I, was like, I was like if you have the you shit. You know what's funny? I, I've had this experience before with multiple guy friends. I don't know if it's just because that I'm I'm that open with like you know, uh, a with my friends and like who I am and B with like sexual stuff. Um, I, I don't know if it's just a combination of those two things or if I just have really good friendships or what, but like, I remember my first girlfriend was like, I had to like really talk her through me going out alone to visit Ethan. Who's been my friend since I was seven years old because she thought we were going to like, you know, do, do yeah. a thing yeah fuck but so like that was a big deal and then i've had to like i had a similar situation with another friend with her afterwards it's just funny that like you have good enough friends and eventually your like true lovers worry you know i don't know it's just weird like i don't know to me it's a good sign that we have a good friendship and we're comfortable with each other you know what i mean like if you can't if you can't fuck we're comfortable enough with each other as friends that we yeah. make people that we care about feel uncomfortable yeah do i want them to feel uncomfortable no but i think it's like not like a red flag thing either you know yeah yeah i i evan evan has tried to kiss me multiple times he gets mad at me because i because I, I don't put out as he <laughs> describes it <laughs> there was but i remember one time asking me what he's he's mad that i didn't make i have never kissed him for content is what is his problem and I'm saying I'm saying we should kiss for content, but he, um, I remember one time he was eating was it a chip? I think it was a chip, and he was like eating, eating a chip. He was like he was like bite the other side, and oh, he was trying to lady in the tramp. He was trying to lady me in the tramp with a with a fucking potato chip or something or like a cookie. What's or the something. funniest food we could lady in the tramp? Uh. Pocky. No, that's not funny. Um, we could make like a burrito bowl. A bowl? <laughs> like it's not like funny. A, it's impossible. Like a taquito. Yeah, maybe. Like, a, like like a gas station taquito. And lady, the trip a gas station taquito. <laughs> yeah, like a hot dog. Yeah. Um, like a brat. Ooh, or like a like a 
like a piece of rice. For Costco, one dollar fifty cent hot dog. Oh, a popsicle, but someone, gets, popsicle, the stick. But someone gets the stick. Hell yeah, it's a I'm pretty good idea. That. Yeah, yeah. How do you eat this? You know, you know that appendix is like for eating bark or whatever. You know, like wood or whatever. <laughs> is, is that why I can't do it anymore? Oh, you don't have it. Did I know that? <clears throat> no, I don't have an appendix. You had appendicitis, nope. right, or something like that. That is an incredibly long story, but yes, ultimately it was appendicitis. Yep. Yeah, and you you shit yourself and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't just have appendicitis. I had what was considered a case of chronic appendicitis, which if you Google, I have medical documentation for this. I could prove it. But if you Google what's the what percentage of appendicitis cases are chronic appendicitis cases, it's like half a percent. It's like an incredibly rare thing that I had. Fuck that. That's why. Bro's the SpongeBob rave scene right now. I was like, why am I so white? I was like, so like You look bluish. too warm now. Am I too warm or is it just like con- contrasting? You look like sepia Ben. Sepia Ben. Sepia Senpai. That good? Mm. You know what? Fuck it. We're balling. Yeah, I just didn't like how blue I was. I could turn off my automatic white balance. This is what it's like without it. Mine, mine was basically like that without it, with with it on. Mexico filter. What do they just got a lot of sun and sand from Mexico? Um. Berlin what filter. What was I going to say? What is this TikTok knowledge? Wait, is it not? It's known that appendix for bark and wood. Yes. Did you know what? that before I just said that? I've heard some bullshit about it. I didn't know what, but yeah. Damn, you're you have dude the the redder and yellower dude, your lips get so chunky, bro. You got filler. You got filler on them lips. It's crazy that lips are just like they they literally look like assholes. Like when you like pucker. All them. right. It's on my face, dude. Does this would, make me look more attractive? No, There's no teeth, in between. It makes your yeah, no, it, does, it snaps so bad. It makes your teeth yellow, bro. Your teeth look like This is the kind of live. This is the kind of live content I wanted to make. It's actually this right here. And that's the that's the kind of content we're gonna make alone when Alexis takes a poop. Your tongue looks like it's see through. It looks like part is it your is your tongue translucent? Transparent? Yeah. Hug, hug me. Bring it in. Woo. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Hello? Hug me, bring it in woo is in our Twitch chat. Hello, hug me, bring it in woo. Hi. Keep doing it. Maybe we'll get more viewers. Maybe like our thumbnail is this will change. what's doing it? Yeah. Am I the new pinky doll? Yeah. Ice cream so good. This episode can be called ice cream so good too. <laughs> uh, yeah, how, long, how long is that outdated joke going to take us? I, I saw Pinky Doll. I got her live recommended to me on, the other day on TikTok. <laughs> well, I was just yeah. scrolling. And she, dude, she fell off. She's making music now. Yeah. Yeah. She's a musician. Um, She's a pop star. Which is horrifying. Truly horrifying. Yeah. Did you ever make we, music with me, Ben? We've derailed. Dude, we should make music together, but you'll never sing for me. And you told me you wouldn't. Yeah, we, what would we do in the stew? Dude, we, you and I together, take the safety off that right now, you fucking pussy. Get a goddamn nail. No, I first. usually do that, but this is an exclusive Brockhampton lighter, and I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to devalue my Brockhampton lighter. That's his Brock Holiday. 
You gotta, we gotta get. Yeah, it, it is. It's a collaboration with Nick Holiday. There's this a person said, "Don't kissy make boy music." With Kevin Abstract. This person say, "This." You've fucking- already made music. It's me please. that hasn't made music. They said, please don't make music. Oh, I mean, we if should asking- on the live stream play them, uh, "Baby on Time" or whatever the fuck. I don't. I don't think I can't. Maybe I might be able to stream it, but I don't know. I'm not gonna fuck around. I'm actually scared. Of what's gonna happen? Yeah. Yeah, he he has your IP, dude. <laughs> Um, Zach. Yeah, what's good? Why are we derailing so hard? I don't know. What What's even happened to me since our last episode? I don't even know, man. Oh, how are you, Zach? How are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what have you been up to? What was the last time I talked to you? I'd already been to Denver the last time I talked to you, right? Yeah, oh yeah. It's been a month. Took a little took a little trip up the flaggy flag. I've been doing some personal shit. I've been trying to get some business shit going. I'm planning on my little DC Maryland trip in December. It's coming up. Thanksgiving's pretty soon. Um, when are you doing anything special for Thanksgiving, my brother? I'm gonna make some food with the family. Okay. Wow. Wow, am I right, guys? Are you making the wow. food or are you eating the food? Uh, I'll probably make some Why food. Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food, hot out, eat the food? Hey, um, hey, every, hey, class, today we're going to finger paint. Kid named, uh, kid named Finger. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Oh, never once, never again. What is that emote? I don't even know what that emote is. Os frog. Denver's fine. Why are you black and white? I'm is just that, experimenting. Oh. Yeah, I've been canceled. I would like to apologize. If we were to make a duet song, what song would it be? Oh. <laughs> if we were to do a duet, I would never yeah. do a duet. Why not? Are you crying? <clears throat> I wish. Why do they call it oven? If you open the heat, hot the food. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, It'd probably be a country song. Duet country songs. Okay, Google. I've got friends in low oh, places. Uh, country songs duets. I'm going to do a Barbara Streisand song together. Uh, how about Brett Eldridge, Brett Eldridge and Megan Trainer perform Islands Ugh. in the Stream? No, not like that. You know Jelly Roll, dude? <laughs> oh, dude, sticking out your cat for the Rizzler. <laughs> yeah, that's our duet. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? You Straight know what, Ohio Riz, dude. You know what song goes fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs mode, bro? What? <laughs> um... You know what song goes hard in the paint? Yeah. I was in Ohio before I met you, but you never raised again. I know it breaks your phantom taxing in Ohio, but you're still not Sigma. You know that song? Four years, no Livy. Now you're looking pretty on Aiden Ross Twitchy. Live it done. How old are we? How old are you, Zach? I don't know. Too old. After you, after you turn like 23, I feel like it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I'm 27. Fucking kill me, Ben. How long are we doing? This? When people, when people <laughs> how long are we on for? People, I'm when, zoomed. I'm currently at the point in our career if that even is the word you want to call it, where I'm zoomed in on 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 black and white. No, we're we're, we're standing like this for a black while. Black and you white zoomed like in. You just got to stand still, very still. I have, how do you think I've been doing it? Um. Yeah, I've been lo- I've been loving the uh, the Zoomer the Zoomer songs on on TikTok lately. Good for you, Riz. Start Straight. crying. Start yeah. fucking crying. You wish. I'm only forty nine. You okay? You sad? Yeah. Why do you want me to be sad so bad? I just want you to cry. You're black and white filter. You're close up. Can you force tears? 
I wish. Damn. Hey. Hey, bud. Hold on. When people say that I'm near 30, I want to kill myself. I am, in fact, near 30. But it still makes me want to die. You know, there it goes. That funny feeling. A funny feeling with my finger on the trigger. A rope around my neck. And a chair under me. You know the one? The Monday blues? It is Monday. No, it's not. Isn't it crazy that we can be in two different days? That's crazy that you look like that. Isn't it crazy that we can be different two two days? You mean? You're the, you're the type of person. You're the type of honky. Go ahead. <laughs> should no, I, should go I ahead. keep going down this road? Yeah. Uh, road. Uh, you're the type of person on a New Year's Eve to be like, "See you next year." I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I would do that the Friday before for work, but not not the day of. You'd be you'd be like good at dad jokes. You think so? Yeah, you'd be you'd be a good. You could be my dad. What do you call a skeleton that doesn't want to do anything? Bonehead, lazy bones. Who wears the pa- pa- the pants between us, Zach? Who's the dummy? You know, mommy? I think it shifts. I think it shifts. I think we're both verses. What? We're both, we're both switch switches. We're switches. Yeah. That's crazy. I think right now, I think right now it's you, but I think I have previously conducted the train. You're a train conductor. Okay. Um, how big are your muscles? Can I beat you up? I need to work on forearms, dude. Look at this. It's like, this isn't awful. This is like, whatever. But then like, look at how skinny it gets around my wrist. Yeah, you have baby arms. I got... Look at that shit, bro. Fuck. Yeah, dude. I've been running a lot recently. One of my um, coworkers is trying to get us to do a 10K in January, which is like too soon. So I haven't like committed to saying yes, but I've committed to trying. So I've been running a lot. Oh. Well, I, 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 I've actually, to be honest, I've been um, looking into getting into a little bit more fitness. I'm not going to run. Fuck that shit. But I'm going to, I'm thinking of biking. Regurgitated fitness challenge. I got, I do got big muscles. That How do you feel about the pitch for the presidential fitness test that I sent you a while ago? I don't remember what that was. <laughs> so here's the rules. Here's what's going to happen. Yeah. I will pay for your flight. Maybe oh, you I pay for hotel. That I don't know. Yeah, that's I a lot. I'm going to fly you down to Virginia and we're going to have the wings brothers coach us through the presidential fitness test. It'll be a little competition between you and I, but it'll be ran and judged by the Wings Brothers in person. That would be in really Virginia. Fun. And we could then we could do men on the street content in Virginia and see how many racists there are. Why don't we do that in Cleveland? Why do we need the Wings Brothers for that? Um I think they would be funnier than us. Probably. Yeah. The issue is that they live there. <laughs> you know, we get to leave and never show our faces. You get to. I'm going to be in Cleveland. Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't actually leave my house, so I'm not going to see anybody. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I had also, some bad... they like. Good. I was going to say, you have to give them a bit. Like, they have to be excited on their own for a bit, and then they'll do it. But, like, you know. If it's your thing and not their thing, it'll be hard to convince them. But I was on board. They had the presidential fitness test idea, and I was like, yep, let's do it. Let's hmm. shoot it. Who knows? I can talk to him. I'm, I'm, I'm down. I, I'm definitely going to put you through the ringer when you're here, though. I'm going to play with your little O-ring, too. I'm going to cancel that flight I just bought. Did you buy it? No, I got to pay for shit for DC first. That's fair. Um, I've been having bad uh, fast food experiences in, in Cleveland so far. Me too. The food is been, good, but the been, experiences are bad. Oh, well, yeah. I was assaulted at my McDonald's a month ago. Yeah, you got you to gotta, you got onions thrown at you. I'm going to 
What the first thing that's going to happen when you come here is I'm just going to get dice on his and I'm just going to fucking deck you with him, bro. I cannot wait. Are we going to get like an actual fight? When I'm I was there? definitely thinking of beating the fuck out of you when you're when you're here. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> just the, wake me up in the, the middle of the night. Not even. I was just you. You were going to walk in, come down to the downstairs to the <laughs> set, and I was just going to just fucking jump over the table and start beating the fuck out of you. Actually, How I'll would tell you exactly what my idea was, was. If I was over, if I was over in your house, you invited me over, and it's three a.m. and I'm just standing over your bed filming you, just the entire time, just not saying anything, and your girlfriend wakes up and sees me, just going like, hey, 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 just filming you. Uh, yeah, I would, say, I would say, Alexis, get up, go, go to the room, and I would, you'd come to bed. Sleep in my bed. Um, no, yeah. my, 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 what was your idea? My idea. So I had a few of them and this is, this might be a spoiler for content that might be to come. Probably yeah, not. I ain't no one watching this shit. Um, so no, actually hug me, hug me, bring it in. Woo is, is saying, is this supposed to be an ASMR stream? I'm trying to sleep. Smile laughing. I don't know. If yeah. I mean, you can fall asleep to this. I yeah. I don't know if they're saying our, we are boring, but. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go. Title of the episode: Bad podcast to study and fall asleep to. And it can be you, little Zachy Coon, kind of in the thoughts on that. Um, it's a good thing I'm not black; otherwise, that'd be a wild thing to call me. This dude, we're we're live. <laughs> That's you crazy said it, not that. me. That's crazy to say. Um, I just added context. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, my idea was. Uh, you would walk in the house, you'd be led downstairs, and I would lav you up, and then I would say, all right, you have to pee, go pee, and then I would just listen to you piss. That's that's funny. Like, that's in a good, way, right? I'd provide other context to the listener. I wouldn't, like, lav me up and then tell me to go pee. I would you say, hey, yeah, wait you, for you, it you to happen to and you naturally gotta, make it a part of content. You just got into town here. You know, step, step into our toilet. Step into our bathroom down here, this half bath. Should I give this guy in the chat my real phone number and have him call me? I can put him on uh, speakerphone. Oh, hug me, bring it in. Whoa, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. See, the thing is, is I want to do that. I don't want to actually give out my phone number. This (laughs) person is so weirdly active in this chat. I have a feeling this person is like a avid Twitch user and just scroll down on just chatting. I, do you want to explain to this person like what this actually is, or do you want to just leave oh, it be like I mean, an enigma? I, kind of option B. Okay, just leave him in suspense. Yeah, in in the void. Okay, we we I I appreciate the time this person's putting into trying to be nice to us, though. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. I mean, you I I I you are definitely a Twitch user. You're an extra Emily sub, I think, right? And I I don't know if that popcat emote is a is it I'm just I, whatever I'm 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 Isn't it? fighting I'm fighting with this person in our chat that is being nice enough to be active in our chat. Go ahead. Isn't it crazy how different I look when I'm zoomed out without my glasses? Zoom out more. This is it. I think. I mean, let Go me backwards. See. I like when you blink like that. Wait. Okay, I can zoom out there. Is that better? I like what every time you click it, you blink. Yeah, it's whenever I switch windows. It's so weird. Click on the dot. You can almost plan it. Yeah. Speaking of planet, uh, what's your favorite? Um, Pluto. It's a real fucking planet. Flagstaff gang. Is that a, is that a Flagstaff thing? They say that. <laughs> Uh, Pluto was discovered in the observatory, Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. Hmm. What does that mean? That uh, means it was the observatory that found Pluto. <laughs> Shit. So they don't want to like give it up because they found it. Yeah. Interesting. Didn't you, didn't you meet a guy that was like saw aliens or something in Flagstaff? Yeah, I met Travis Walton. <laughs> actually, hold on. This actually was a part of the lost episode, so I never really got to like actually show it that's true actually so 
Um, yeah, this will, this will be an interesting story. So if you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, whatever this edited shit comes out, uh, you might be familiar with the like weird lost episode thing that was just an audio thing. I explained this story, but now I'll explain it again because I actually, this will have be video. This is Fire in the Sky. It's a book written by Travis Walton. Uh, there's also a very famous movie called fire in the sky that describes the events of this book. Um, funny enough, it was like one of my dad's favorite movies uh, when he was younger. And, you know, we hadn't always lived in Arizona. You know, we, we, we grew up in like Maryland, West Virginia, that, that sort of thing. Um, so I was taking a road trip to New Mexico and I was, me and my girlfriend were driving back and we stopped in this little town called Heber, Heber, Arizona. And, um, there was like this wood shop with all these wood carvings and stuff. Uh, it's, it's a really small town. If you're in Google maps, wait, you said the only person that lives in Flagstaff is Plain Rock one, two, four. Who the fuck cool. is Plain Rock one, two, four? Yeah, I don't know. But, um, if you look up Heber, Arizona on a map and look for like the woodworking shop, I'm sure you could find it. It's like a small, small, small town. Um, but outside there were a bunch of like totem poles and wood carvings and a bunch of them were like aliens and shit. So we were like, okay, this place is interesting. Let's go walk in and check it out. Um, when I walked in, there was like a, a first entry room that had a lot of like normal looking like wood carvings and everything. Um, and, uh, you know, just, just normal woodworking shit. And then in the other room, there was like this weird, there was more woodworking shit, but there was like a shrine with like a bunch of like headshots of mm. a guy in like, um, you know, like just alien pictures and diagrams and shit. And then a bunch of these books, there was a guy signing them in there. Apparently Travis Walton himself, the guy who was abducted by aliens, um, like the, supposedly it's if you believe in alien UFO abductions, this is like one of the most like truest, accounts that has existed of it. He, uh, he signed this book. So I have an autographed copy of fire in the sky by Travis Walton. It's not that special. I think if you look up his website, he sells signed copies on the website. So like you could in theory, go and buy your own signed copy mm -hmm. from his website, but well, he you, was there in person. That's different. I have no proof aside from this book with a signature in it. So, how many ropes do you shoot when you come? <laughs> it depends on how long it's been. I, I talked to Sean. Uh, Sometimes I, I, if I'm on a whacking spree. Oh, Ethan Thompson. Hey, it's Zach. Won't do that. What? Who is that? I love Ethan Thompson. He's a buddy of mine. Hey, Ethan Thompson. Um, how many ropes do I shoot? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. No, let me talk about this. Let me talk about this. Let me talk about this. I was talking to Sean and we were playing halo and we we're just, you know, we're just chatting shit, you know, we're having a good time. And he bro said, we're he's talking about jerking off. And he's like, we we're all talking about mm -hmm. how we like shoot multiple ropes mm -hmm. per come normal, normal person thing to do. Normal person thing to do is shoot multiple ropes. Bro goes, yeah, I think I only shoot one. And we're all like, that's not fucking real. That's not real. That's not real. That's fucking weird to shoot one rope. Imagine bro done. It honestly depends where, on how active I'm being. Where's the satisfaction, Zachary? Where's the satisfaction Dude, in that? If I'm if I'm fucking like multiple times in a day or something, then yeah, it's just I, should, I get a little one and done. He if I've been holding it in for three days, then yeah, I'm shooting like two or three. What do you mean one? The fuck do you mean one? one? I'm saying if I'm being an active little right. boy, let's, let's, if I'm let's being define, a rascal, let's dive, if I'm being let's, a charva, let's define rope. What do you, what do you, what do you, when I say rope, I mean like pulse besides the, like the, the ones that are empty. The rope is usually a line. Rope is usually, what the fuck does that mean, Zach? <laughs> Not like a little gerbil, like a little line. We go boom, past your head. You don't have multiple, and then it like slow. I it's answered slow. this question. I'm saying yeah, if it's been, I don't get it though. I don't get it. I don't get it. If it's been a while, if it's like I haven't touched any, if I haven't done anything in like a day or two, 
then yeah, I'm, 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 I'm multiple roping it. If I'm, if I've been hitting it repeatedly a lot recently, then yeah, it's probably only like one. I don't relate. I mean, I, I don't, I haven't come twice in a day You've since come like 2018 loads. or some shit, but like, that's not true. Mm, that might not be true. I haven't. I, I don't come multiple times a day a lot, you know. So that's sad. I dude. I a can't. Better how, many, life. how many times have you jerked off in a day? Come with your number. Just give me your number. Oh, what's my record? Yeah. Oh, dog! I couldn't even tell you. Like teenage me, probably in the in the tens. Tens. Yeah. I don't remember if my number is sixteen or eight. I think it's eight. What do you work in multiples? Do you only remember, I don't remember. multiples? I so it, it's actually so funny that you say that. Um, twenty three yours is not twenty three times. That's just it, that's just not. <laughs> uh, real. Sorry, I don't know if it was sixteen or eight. That's a wild gap. You only remember okay. in multiples of eight. I no. Listen, the problem is, <laughs> I have two memories that are at similar time frames. One of them is how many times I watched what uh, eight mile in a week, <laughs> and one of them is how many times I jerked off in a day. <laughs> I'm gonna so stop I don't know which being friends which. with you. I don't know. I don't remember which number is which. Your ultimate fantasy is to be Eminem and Eight Mile, isn't it, bro? Boom! It ain't my fault. My skin does crawl, and he like holds his hand in his pocket, and he has a hat on. <clears throat> That's right. Where my cat go? His real name's Clarence, and Clarence lives with two good parents. Parents. <laughs> it's easy when you get so much coochie. We have a podcast on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Hey, not anymore. That's true. That's true. We've we've leveled up. We spent fucking 150 we've bucks. Upgraded, yeah. yeah. We've upgraded to now the premium loser yeah. Yeah. <laughs> package. Yep. I can't wait till this is not a podcast channel. I gotta be honest. What? The the regurgitated YouTube channel? Yeah. I can't wait till it's like a show Eventually channel. it'll be more stuff. Yeah. Dude, 2024. I, I, Start planning with me. It's been the, a while. We haven't like messaged each other a lot at, recently either. And the, it's at, my fault too, but like message me more. At the end of at the end of this podcast, when we're done, when, when we're done being live, whatever, <laughs> we're actually going to have a conversation about this. Because I I, I want I want to plan stuff out. Like I, I have ideas that I want to shoot, spitball with you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do it. We've been going on for two hours. I feel like we had like 30 minutes of that talking about nothing zooming into my face and talking about how many ropes you shoot. I think we can that's, close it down and brainstorm some decent no, no, that's ideas. Very, that's very important. It's very important that we do that. That we talk about the ropes that we're shooting. Because I want I want Sean to know that he's fucking weird for shooting one rope. You know what's it, funny? I feel like I've lived quite a life since this the last episode. Like I've done a lot of shit. And then when you ask me, like, how have you been doing? Like I've just my blanked out. I just glossed over in my yeah. brain. I'm like, I don't know, man. I've been doing some business shit. I've been you know, if I were to, having some fun. Like if I were to ask you, if I were to ask you on a very <laughs> vulnerable, genuine level, how you're doing, how would you answer me? I feel like I have a lot to look forward to. And I feel like sometimes in life, that's all you need. So you didn't say good now. You said good baby soon. No, I feel like I'm in a good spot. Like I feel like I'm in a good spot. Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people in life go, like they always try to chase. (laughs) I know it sounds bullshit to say like, enjoy the journey and not the destination. But I feel like I've truly been like embracing that mindset a lot recently where like, I've acknowledged that a lot of the things I look forward to, the true excitement and joy is like me planning and building a better life for myself. Like a lot of these milestones that I'm achieving, either they feel good for a moment and then they're fleeting or they don't feel as good as I thought they do or they don't work out or they don't work out the way I thought they would. And I just think like being in a place where I have a lot of stuff like career and business wise building a lot of stuff like productivity and project stuff that I'm worth worth building a lot of stuff like in my personal relationships that I'm building Mm. a lot of like fun things that I'm planning. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yes, there's things that I'm enjoying presently, but I feel like I'm finding a lot of joy in like looking forward to the future. There's a lot of things that don't look as bleak as they used to. And I feel like I'm just living in a moment where, I'm just passively enjoying the stuff around me. Yeah. Especially in a year, by the way, where time feels like it's flying by way too quickly. Uh, Have you experienced this where this year has just gone by super quick for you? Like 2023 just kind of feels like a 
I mean, I, memory. I, I think as a as a twenty seven year old, that just tends to happen <laughs> every year. But I do I do definitely agree. Twenty 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 three has been fucking. Uh, Super fast. I feel like every single person that I talk to has had that shared experience where this year just felt like so quick and everyone's acknowledged it, but no one's doing anything about it. And I know that sounds like bullshit. Like, what are you going to do? Slow down time. But like, yeah, kind of like, I feel like people like more people need to be more present in their life. Like, like, I don't know. I feel like the amount of information we're exposed to is maybe like unhealthy for us. Not to say that you should be uneducated, not saying that at all, but I'm saying like, I don't know, uh, I don't want to just have my whole life just go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't want to just always be living in this thought of like, oh, I need something else. Right. Like I'm always, I'm never like being present. So I guess the, to answer like, how, how am I now? It's like, there's things that are bad. There's things that are good, but I feel like I'm truly like being present and enjoying like the process of becoming as bullshit as that might sound, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that uh, there's also, the reason that this year is going so fast so fast. I shoot three ropes. Oh, okay. Then I mean that 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 clears that may make sense to me now. I know, but I think that the, the reason that this year is also going by so quick is because uh, I I'm sure you are as busy as I am. You know, it, it's just been fucking crazy. Yes and no. So I mean this 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 year has been like a way. whirlwind. <laughs> what? The, uh, what's his name in the chat? His name is Dave uh, Dave. I don't know if that's a mean that i'm hi dave i love you thank you for paying us any attention we have a yeah. uh, youtube channel look us up it's called right. regurgitated yeah, and we have I, a side channel called regurgitated reflex that has way more subscribers I, but it's like short <laughs> shit i linked i linked him the channel uh, oh did you the website i should say um oh nice you yeah, know i'm happy you're doing good zach you know there was a you know last year you were obviously there's por- points por- portions of time where you were unemployed and I'm sure that was not a great, I was unemployed for like six months, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that was not a great, you know, it's a funny meme, but I'm sure that was not a great feeling overall um, to be unemployed. Yeah. Um, but I'm happy you're doing good. And I'm I'm happy, you know, I'm, I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of in the same boat. Um, you just moved out of state. I love this place. You moved in with a lovely lady, or at least I assume she's lovely. She's absolutely lovely. She better be fucking lovely. She's so lovely. Queen better be lovely. Queen, Queen Anne Bay it is lovely. Um, but we, I mean, there are issues like <laughs> the our landlord's kind of a cocksucker. A and B. Uh, I hope he was. I hope that's Dave in chat. There you go. Dave, sorry, Dave. I didn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> And things we got here and things were already kind of fucked up. Um, like uh, we got like every pretty much every drain that we had was clogged. Um, but there's, then there's, there's <laughs> stuff like that, which is kind of shitty, kind of shitty. But I really like the house. I really like living with Alexis. I, I like the cats more, more this the one that was just in my room more than the other one. Um, I'm I, I don't feel anxiety streaming. I don't feel anxiety doing the podcast, which I'm sure led to me being tired at the end of every podcast was just me worrying that someone was going to walk in my room and bother me. I know. Think about this. It's almost what? 1 a.m. or two, almost midnight, almost midnight where you are. Yeah. That's uncommon for you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I mean, I had the coffee and it was definitely darker than I normally make. Um, and I also you work have, tomorrow. Oh, you have every, every, Monday, every off. Monday off. I work tomorrow. Yeah. So when do you go to bed? I don't have a set time. I mean, I should probably, I mean, honestly, I'm usually in bed at like 11, like 10, like I've, sometimes I go to bed at 10. Sometimes I go to bed at midnight. Zach, I have, I have, I have 11 is kind of a, I have a great method for you to go to bed. Listen. Yeah. It's, it is therapeutic. Get, get into bed at 10, brush your teeth, do everything beforehand. Right. Obviously get into bed at 10, get telegram on your phone. (laughs) Oh, join the one pace, the one pace uh, uh, channel, so you can watch all of One Piece without the filler <laughs> scenes. Watch an hour okay. and a half before bed every night. You'll have so much, so many days of just watching. Well, I gotta leave now. I gotta start watching it right now. If that's what you want me to do, you, got, you gotta go. You gotta go watch the One Piece. Is it real? The One Piece is real, actually. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, on the chat, he said something and now it says Monday, November 13th, 2023. That's today. 
It just changed dates for me. And we're on a different day, Zach, me and you. Are you a time traveler? Are you me from the future? Wait. Are you only two hours away now? Yeah. Daily savings time. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And we should stop having Oh, you, have we not talked about this before? We have. We have. I just don't, I just <laughs> okay. don't know how it, when it changes. Hey, interesting little fact. Arizona does not celebrate daylight savings time. So half the time, half the year we're in Pacific Standard Time. Half the year we're in Mountain Standard Time. It's actually really good this time of year because that means all my East Coast friends, I'm only a two hour difference between. But it fucks everything else up. Yeah. I had an argument, at, not an argument, but like, we were trying to do a live event at work and they put the time down as Pacific standard time. And this was two days after the time zone changed. And I was like, no, that don't, don't do Mm. that. Like people aren't going to show up to that. And it was a whole discussion where I was like, I swear I'm not trying to be that like, um, actually guy, but like, I promise you, you're going to lose money if you do that. I I (laughs) assume the, your phone, Changes the time for you too already, right? Like it does. For- no, Arizona doesn't change time zones. We don't have daylight savings time. There's no need to change time. Wait, here. no, I'm confused. Now I'm confused. I thought you said it just. I thought you said it changes from out whatever to whatever. Yes, because everyone else changes around us. I don't get it. Listen to me, Ben. Listen to me, Ben. It is the same time in Arizona throughout the year. However, one half of the year, the East Coast is three hours ahead of us. And then daylight savings time happens and the East Coast sets their clock back an hour. Oh, I see. We haven't changed. They set their clock back an hour. So everyone else's time zone shifts back an hour except for us. Got it. I I guess saying time zone, (coughs) it's extra confusing because of the term time zone. Technically on my computer, I set it to Arizona time, but that's not like a nationally known like time zone. So when you list time zones for other people, it's like when you're in daylight savings time, I have to list it for other people as mountain standard time. And when it's not during daylight savings time, I have to list my time zone as Pacific standard time for other people. Got it. Again, in my computer software or whatever the fuck, I can list Arizona time, but networking with other people out of state, I have to tell them either Pacific or Mountain Standard time, which changes. You have to do the math so we don't really, yeah. yeah, We don't really change time zones. We're in Arizona time, yeah. but everyone else changes time, so I effectively need to give other people a changing reference. Right. And to make it even more confusing... <laughs> The um, uh, Indian and Native American reservation in our state does celebrate daylight savings time, the Navajo Nation. And I don't know if I told you, did I talk about the eclipse on the last podcast? So So there was an eclipse, guys. We had an eclipse. Eclipse. It was a total solar eclipse. And it went right over the four corners, the Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah borders. I, with my friends, we drove up to Window Rock, Arizona, which is the capital city of the Navajo Nation. Um, I have pictures of this if for some reason you wanted to, but I know we're not editing this heavily. Um, To see the eclipse. And I changed time zones within my own state. It was pretty trippy. That is cool. Yeah. Are you in Navajo? I wish. I don't think you're not a... Oof. Yeah, we can end it. (laughs) Okay. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you for uh, hugging me, bringing in. Woo-doo-doo-doo. Thanks, everybody, in the YouTube chat as well. Um, this is going to be another one of these um, while I finish editing the Elden Ring video. Uh, we're literally putting this on pause so I can do a personal video. We're putting, putting the yep. normal episodes on pause so I can do it. And if this is a, a good format, we might we continue to put it in the future. But we'll see. Maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're. I do like the editing shit, though. But that's just me personally. Maybe other people don't. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll if 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 this comes out, fun, I don't know. We'll see. I, I do. I do like it too. But it also is also a much bigger time investment. This is going to. Oh yeah, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. Um. But all right. Uh. Ggs. Uh. Sorry, Dave. You're gonna have to watch 
one piece or something or extra Emily. <laughs> I don't know. Um, or the regurgitated podcast. Or you can watch YouTube, the, uh, some other regurgitated podcast content. You're such a smart guy, Zach. Marketing fucking genius here. This guy, this little handsome guy. That's why they pay me the big this bucks. Little handsome creature. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off. I shoot ropes. At least more than one. You said three. I shoot two minimum. I don't get it. You have big balls shooting that much cum I have, around here. I have I, my right ball. I have <laughs> you got big balls <laughs> shooting that much cum around here. <laughs> I have my right ball has a, that vein that make. I mean, everybody's one has like a like a ball size difference. My right ball has a that vein around it that is swollen. It is, is no concern. But my right ball is significantly bigger than my left, and I just want you to know that. Maybe your nuts have GERD. Maybe they have autism. Leave it, leave it at that. Oh, maybe your babies do. Maybe. Yep. So this is when the uh, song plays. 